Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we're going to be playing an Atari 2600 game. And this is Corey. Hi, I'm Corey. <laughs> Corey Rocket, apparently. Corey Rocket! It's a performing name. That's right. Yeah. Mine's a performing name, too. Except it's my real name, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, today we're going to be playing Gorf Arcade. And not just playing it. We're going to be trying for some patches. Oh, patches? Just, we need those stinking patches. We do need those stinking patches. There's four of them. The best player in the world, uh, uh, S. Ramirez, has only gotten three of them. So there's no hope for us. I'm thinking maybe, you know, like a, a participation yeah. patch. Or maybe a, a, you you tried paper certificate maybe yeah on it's the like, back of a fortune cookie fortune that's right yeah, it's that's... your lottery numbers and your consolation prize i can't <laughs> lose <laughs> hey everybody no no delay today we're right into it um yeah we're gonna be playing gorf arcade by champ games we have johnny wc Mr. Champ himself in the chat, oh. the developer, so that's very exciting. He can that, watch us uh, awesome. watch us fail, which is great. <laughs> um, I have I have not played Gorf since I had it in cart form for my Commodore VIC twenty uh. back in the day. It's, which which it's it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's been a while since you had your VIC twenty. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get lots of practice today. Okay. Um, so hopefully we can uh, remember our skills and make them even better. Um, but first, I want to read out all the uh, subscriber names who support the show. Uh, and they're scrolling right beside uh, Corey here in uh, virtual space. It's uh, right wow. around here. <laughs> it tickles. Ah! Uh, Al the Firearms Card Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Jitaris Maximus, Beep Supreme, Bear Polka, Buffalo, Pinball, Chalce Donnie Mal, Charles Willen, Chitlala, Colonel Lamak, Dan, Dan ABC, Daryl 9070, Drexel, Dr. Kumaus, uh, Dr. Mookhouse, Dr. Kumaus? What? Gamma Dev, Glenn Main, Great Offender, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Kibita Kenzo, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Vader, Gveltifer, Lambda Express, Lorne DTZ, Morkarian, is Mark Spacing, Mech. Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, M of the Three, Mr. Sarnwood, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Neo Meany, Nostalgic, Packer, VG Coog, RC70, uh, Raymond C, Rendered Ghost, Repentance VG, Six Sweet, Sledgehammer, Smitty B, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, Teleprompter, D Train, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, X, Ken X. Okay. Yes. If they ever recast uh, the voiceover role for the guy from Micro Machines. Should I audition? Y you I'll give it a go. Should. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still at the, I'm at the very end of my, uh, my cough, cold, whatever. But I did okay. I, I had to breathe a couple times. Well, well you can make the, uh, the full breath uh, noises, and then it's only DMX. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, no poll question today, but we do. Like, this is an after dark, by the way. Uh, this isn't a regular show. We do after darks, and uh, on those we'd go for high scores. Or try to complete a game. Cool. Because on the regular show, we just show the games and play them a bit. Gotcha. Kind of yes. showcase them. Gotcha. And so okay. After Dark, usually done at night. But uh, sometimes it's day after dark. I guess it depends what time zone everybody is in. That's right. That's the joke. Whenever they, uh, whenever they say, <laughs> it's not after dark. And I say, somewhere it is. Well, <laughs> and even if it's late here, it's after the dark. It's always after dark. Yeah. Dark did happen. It's like you point. can always wear white after Labor Day because then it's just before Labor Day again. That's right. It's always after Labor Day. We've got one cat in the room. I saw the other one. He's he's keeping his distance because uh, he hasn't seen Corey before, so he's he's a shy one. Atari's like, here's my belly. Yeah. <laughs> he's just oh no, half of the cat is in the cat cam. There you go. Oh. Yep. <laughs> um, so there's one piece of news. Uh, don't feed what after midnight. Uh, oh, the cats? The cats? Oh, they'd love that. They don't get fit after midnight. Um, interesting news uh, from uh, Atari SA. This was announced yesterday. Uh, let me put it on the screen for everyone so you can see it too. Atari announces strategic collaboration with Play Ma Magi? Play Magi, I'm guessing. Um, Polymega? Yes, Polymega. That's right. <laughs> Uh, the company behind the Polymega game console will collaborate on innovative retro hardware and software initiatives. Interesting. Um, so let's skip down to the interesting part. In addition, a new cartridge module will be developed that will add Atari 2600 and 7800 compatibility to the Polymega console. 
So the Polymega is out right now. Um, and w it's, a, it's a very cool idea. It's got its base console. Okay. Um, and you put add-ons onto it. That like hardware add-ons? Hardware, hardware add-ons. And they accept the cartridges of those old consoles and the ports for the controllers of those old consoles. So Sort of like uh, ColecoVision's Atari 2600 exactly add-on? Exactly like or that. Or Sega Genesis with the, 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 the plug-in. The power module for the uh, Sega Master System. Oh yes! Oh yeah! Genesis yeah. had the uh, top thing, so it was retro compatible. Um, yes, it is. Uh, out is doing a lot of that. I know, I know. It's hard to <laughs> it's hard to get that thing. Uh, he's like, mm, it's is it is it really out? Yeah. For select versions of out. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to order. It's very uh, back ordered. It's doing its best. <laughs> yeah. It's it is doing its best. That's good. Um, so there's there's add-ons for uh, um, PC Engine, uh, various amounts. I, I haven't really looked at it um, because it is very expensive. The the base module is 500 US, well, I believe. Fair, but you can access though. Like it seems like it'd be worth the dollars. Um, yes, because I believe it has like HDMI out and upscaling all of this. Right? Nice. So you can connect it to your your modern television, which is very very convenient, mm -hmm. and it supports a lot of different game consoles, but. I was I, I hadn't really paid attention to it because I hadn't really noticed it come out and I'm not super interested in it as well because I have all these consoles right but you, you want to be in the know and I yeah. do um, but this got my attention because 7800 there has been no retro console that has um, except like you can't put a 7800 cartridge in anything, anything but a 7800 7, right now so yeah that got my attention uh, the fact that it's new is kind of cool. Um, Atari 2600, there's been the um, uh, the other console, where is it? Retron 77. Right. Uh, which does accept uh, cartridges from the 2600, right? Into oh, there. Okay, yeah. And this is, um, is a cool device. This is not, this part of it is not a cool thing. Um, because it has very, very limited support for cartridges. Uh, oh, it only accepts okay. like super old school cartridges up to like uh, four, uh, four meg, four K, four meg. Four. Jesus, <laughs> four K. Let's not talk crazy. Oh, that's stuff. Four K. Jeez. Uh, um, yeah, four four K uh, cartridges, and some of those don't even work. So, as a cartridge dumper, it is absolutely terrible as as an emulation box it's not bad when you put on the um community community supported uh build of the oh okay. of stella um which I talking stella. uh yeah Stella and uh when we're talking about the polymega it also is an emulation box it is not an fpga device so it is basically a computer inside of a box like you would run with your um it's a chip in a pc box. that's right chip in a box um i wish it was chip in a box the uh, fpga would be cool but i think they opted out of that because fpgas aren't fast enough to run like super more modern consoles oh okay um so i'm one i'm concerned of this add-on not accepting cartridges okay. more than x because i read very briefly that all the other console all the other systems are like 90 percent supported <laughs> it's like okay that's not super great 90 percent supported it's it's totally supported it'll totally play custer's revenge <laughs> that's right and, and all the classics and an astro blast cart made specifically <laughs> in the year 1987 for zellers specifically that's right <laughs> only the zellers <laughs> versions of games are supported the zellers with, ripoff games with yeah. the with the cool uh, artwork <laughs> on them um uh, oh 16k sorry 16k oh. it does support up to oh. 16 uh, some of them um but all this does is dump the cart. So any carts that have like an ARM chip in them, like modern homebrew, oh, okay. that need to continuously be running, gotcha, will not work in this. And I'm wondering how they're going to handle it on this new system as well, because I don't know much about it, but they would have to have, keep going back to the cart and not just do a simple dump 
of the cartridge information. <laughs> How dare you? I had, no idea. I had no idea it was on. Let's just turn that <laughs> no, right off. Um, um, yeah. And also, I'm really concerned about what emulator they're using. Because outside of Stella, the emulation choices for 2600 are not super great. Stella is like right up to date. I think it, the last time I used an emulator was quite some time ago. That's what yeah. I was using. Right? Stella, yeah. It's been yeah. the mainstay forever. And which one are they using for 7800 as well? Which which emulator? None Since of them... it's not really a thing. <laughs> you no, know, there's yeah. there is a number of emulators for 7800. Oh, emulators. Oh, yeah. yeah so you said nothing that can take the cartridge itself. Yes. I apologize. Yeah. Okay, there you so, go. So yeah. um, the official Atari is supporting is is giving their blessing to this so you think they would have yeah you know a way to make sure that it's all emulated properly so i understand being a little bit disturbed by that view there you yeah. go yeah. <laughs> you can su subscribe to Atari's <gasps> only fans page yeah. that's right for more naked old men legs yeah <laughs> <laughs> they haven't contacted us the stella team that uh thomas yanch is part of the stella team oh okay awesome um so that's what I was wondering as well. I wasn't going to ask that, but uh, I, I also thought, no, they're not going to use Stella. Of course, the best emulator for 26. Right. So they're going they're to gonna use, do their own thing. <laughs> yeah. So they're going to use some ancient emulation or, you know, who knows what. The official Atari is also doing a lot of heavy lifting. <laughs> Atari SA, let's say. Um, Got a mutant so, version of the Sears video arcade. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Um, so we'll see how that turns out. I'll be very interested to see how the emulation and the cart dumping, and I'm guessing it's cart dumping rather than an active cartridge port. Okay. Um, because that just is simpler for them to just go Fair. read as much as we can, put it into our system, plug it into the emulator and start running it. So like, it feels like, um, the just from an outsider's point of view yeah seems like since since the, you were making a lot of comparison points between the retron 77 and and the polymega that to do a proper review they should just send you one <laughs> that's right yeah yeah i'll, I'll take one yeah i mean i've never since talked not, to polymega yes yeah, uh, since, since you're not in the market for it but yeah <laughs> that's right i'm the perfect person uh well i would give a very good overview about how homebrew works on it that would that would work well yeah but uh maybe not I what have, they're after i have <laughs> yeah. high doubts that arm chip uh homebrew is going to work on it like uh the game we're gonna be playing today gorf arcade which is exciting it is you were mentioning that um that that gorf had been a little bit censored when they ported it to home systems yeah they there was one level that they weren't um able to put on there because of licensing uh right. issues That's um exactly and i believe it's the galaxian level and and it has it right on the backs all five of the original arcade stages oh. right uh, right where it shows the galaxian level and i remember why i thought it was sort of space invaders e as well because there's that level with where the with the dome shield and that's oh, what i yes. was thinking of. okay yes it has okay. one shield instead of multiple. so it ha really has a shield right across yeah yeah which seems we we're talking at lunch about that it's like oh was it the was it the space invaders level i'm like it doesn't have a space invaders level but it, it literally does yeah it just it yeah. just doesn't have the mounds <laughs> how much was it again um i think it was 500 us for the base system and you could get the whole all the modules for a thousand which it's less than what you would be paying yes. for modded high quality output of the original systems plus an upscaler to attach it to a new TV. Oh, right, yeah. Right, because you do have to include that if you're comparing apples to apples. Yeah. You can't just compare RF out Yeah. to, <laughs> to HDMI. But all my RF switches are already in use. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. My TV antenna, I gotta watch. You gotta get a splitter then. <laughs> um, no, okay. yeah. So, let's get the instructions out for Garf Arcade. Um, and actually, let's look at what we're trying to achieve today uh, with the patches. And uh, I, I literally turned this phone off. Like, I powered it down. 
Lies. All lies. So many lies. My hands are regular size hands. <laughs> okay. Uh, no let's see. Gorfian Legends for the patches is what we're going for today. Oh, we still have EXO up here. Let's change that out. Off. Not playing EXO today. We're playing Gorf. Gorf. There we go. If I may say That's so too. Official. The, yep. the cartridge art is gorgeous. Yes, it's done by Nathan Strum, it's... who does a, almost like ninety nine percent of Champ games. Like it's, he always does bright, colorful, cartoony, really cool covers. And it's 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 a color palette that I wouldn't have naturally thought to put together. I mean, even in a, in a retro thing, but it's amazing. It's like everything just works. Oh on yeah. It. yeah, and he always really captures the the game really well in terms of look. Uh, and captures the fun of the game. Beautiful box art, yes. Yeah. And the person who did the artwork is in the chat as well. Yeah, kudos. Yeah. Absolutely. Have, uh, huh. Very good support from the community. And especially the devs on this yeah, show. I see that. Which, is, yes. which is, always makes me so happy. Um, so, uh, ISDF membership patches. Gorfian Legends. As a volunteer pilot active in the fight against the diabolical Gorfian robot empire damn them you will receive your proper respect and identification by earning achievement patches champ games and atari age have partnered up to provide achievement patches for garf arcade players that can achieve a specific rank on each skill level to earn a patch you must reach at least the following missions for each patch you wish to earn starting a mission one okay don't be skipping uh on specific skill levels so, so they should be done in uh, do they have to be done in order well, these are all separate. Oh, be okay. Because oh, I see they bounce, yeah. Because you have to do one on novice, then you have to do one on standard, then advanced level, then challenge. Challenge is such like a like a watered down version of like um uh what what do they used to say on on id games uh Oh. Bring it, not bring it on the one after bring it on oh I am death incarnate I'm death incarnate yeah. <laughs> yeah you are pretty much on death incarnate so for space warrior patch we have to get to mission 21 we have to do this today or we will completely fail okay uh, space avenger reach mission 26 on standard difficulty space master reach mission 36 on advanced yes Corey who's the new guy uh, Corey is. Hi. Uh, we've been friends <laughs> since '89. '89. Yeah. Uh, All bad haircuts. Yep. Yeah. Don't look at our old pictures. <laughs> um, of course, we'll be look back at these haircuts and uh, hate them as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, yeah. We've uh, yeah we've been friends forever. Uh, been in from bands high school, together. Like yeah. Bands and doing lots of stuff and yep. Yeah. So and he's actually been on the show before. A couple years ago. Way yeah. back. When it wasn't as slick, you know, but we made do. Yeah. Uh, Space Champion, uh, reach mission 51 on challenge difficulty level. First time of the show. Nope. Nope. You probably... Second time. I, I tried Trust to... is a long-term watcher, too. I uh, I tried to... Um, Day one patch. To get the, um, the the top world record on Frostbite. That's right. That, and yeah, I ended up Frostbite. ranking like fourth or fifth I was showing for a bit. I have not looked in a long time. I'm sure I'm way down there now, but... My my what? main concern was being able to beat my father's score again because he had a ridiculous score, uh, um, like yeah. for 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 a casual player, right? Yeah. And he he became sort of obsessed by it, right? Yeah. Frostbite's so, an awesome game. It is. It's it's the, the fluidity of the movement is unparalleled in Atari Twenty Six Hundred games. Oh yeah, especially considering what's allowed to move at what time and yeah. and it. Uh, well, sorry, not to jump topics, but uh, there is but, no topic. But, but, but <laughs> what, what, what I loved about uh, Frostbite period was that it obviously was a total glitch that you were able to jump into that far left spot where the polar bear couldn't get you. But you, oh, sorry, you could swear you fucking needed it. <laughs> like, like every once in a while, oh, just like yeah. just take Need a break, a breath. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like those people who did uh, high score challenges in arcade games. The only way yeah. they could get a break is that they build up enough lives to just let a couple die. Just to let a couple die so they could go to the bathroom and then come back. Oh, that's that's brilliant. Yeah, because they're so good. They don't need lives. But you couldn't even do that on a game like Donkey Kong because he just tosses that first barrel. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. Fireball. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but Corey is an 
a really good Frostbite player, and that's what we played on the show that he was on. And uh, I think at that point you got like second or third place. I, oh, I, yeah, he was I, really high up. I there think at I that was point. just beneath third. Like, like I was like, yeah. if I had been able to run one more level, but yeah. like, yeah, he yeah. kicked ass. It was so fast. I was like, I can't see what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all an instinct. And if I don't keep talking, I can't keep focus because I have to. Ah. disassociate so I, this like, show has trained me to talk while playing because i have to talk while playing fair yeah absolutely so that, yeah that's, that's good right yeah only scores obtained playing the official oh. gorf arcade cartridge which i have here released by atari age on a real game console which mm -hmm. i have there uh are eligible since these achievements are a test of not only skill but endurance only games that start from mission one will be considered the top 10 scores for each patch are listed below there's a limit of one patch per skill level per player, of course. Fair. Uh, a player like, can level I want one. all of yeah. them. I got 50 level one patches. <laughs> Top gun. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, there are the patches. Space Very Warfare. nice. Really nice patch. Yeah. Um, and it's not a printed patch. It's like a sewn y patch. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah. yeah. Um, S. is the master. This is what I hear. This is what you have been telling me. Oh, my God. He got Kudos. To, he got to mission 100 on the first one so he just destroyed level 21 uh, make a day of it yeah just like machine I, I recognize I don't recognize triple J26 D, uh, take uh, T Karner C oh Chris Albright I recognize that Space Avenger S Ramirez mission 79 destroyed again uh, Space Master uh, S Ramirez yeah. 64 um, and Space Champion Gorf Arcade nobody oh. Just empty. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, oh, there's 200 patches for that. 200? 200, 200 each. Okay. So there's still plenty left to get. Cool. I was I was a little bit worried that how many there were. Only on a real game console is that the Billy Mitchell rule. That's right. No <laughs> mames allowed here. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, that's cryptic there. Uh, let's, uh, now that we know the rules and what we need to get, let's dive into it. I'll give you the first go at it. Okay. And let's switch over. And I'm gonna need some Bondo to cover up the rust. <laughs> what? There you go. Thank you. Oh. Has to be the real joystick. Eh? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, pretend you're in the arcade playing. That's okay. Oh. oh, stop your moving. Things are happening. I shot who in the what now? Uh, <laughs> your assignment is to repel the invasion and launch a counterattack. So we're going for levels, not okay. score. Is Just it, clear the level. Qualify as a level, so you don't need to get high scores. You don't, uh, Unless you're going to get go for extra lives, which, of course, score matters. But, okay. But in this one, it's mostly you're just shooting everything. Okay. There are little bonus characters that go along the top, like the UFO in, in Space right, Invaders. So, right. So we're going to start on Novice. Quick question. Yep. Um, the way this is wired, it's the, I Both remember this as a single button fire. game. So, yeah. Oh, so I can, I can double tap? You could, yep. Okay. Totally fine. The other the second button doesn't do anything on this. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Uh, I mean, it does nothing extra. Okay. 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 Uh, no screen yet. Well, that is an issue, isn't it? Let's uh, give you a screen. Sorry, I switched over. Let me start that up this again. This is the de it's the devil level. It said demo. I can demo. only assume that means demon. Just didn't have enough room for the N. Yeah. <laughs> Darn Atari. <Yeah. laughs> no room for an extra letters. <laughs> like first lies license place. <laughs> That's right. Oh, skipping the last letter. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's uh, start with a novice. Yes, difficulty level, so press a button. I, am the Lord, the I just, oh, I press the left and right for. Uh, oh, oh, right, uh, right, no. okay. To select. Oh, no, no. <laughs> so we're on novice, so we press arcade. the button to go for it. Okay. Oh, uh, missed him. Oh, that's right, he lays them out. I remember yeah. this now. Why is there no sound? That shield looks pretty Probably dodgy. Probably I don't have it hooked up properly, <laughs> right? Is that why? Yes. Maybe. Yes. 
Oh, by total fluke, I got the the, the uh, flying saucer. Still on the seventy-eight hundred. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> I can't believe I'm just like, hey, I should go go get hit by that missile. Easy. Guys, I always thought were cute. What's that? Red blobby guys. Yeah. <laughs> so happy. Uh, at what point do I earn a free man? Um, let me look at that. I know it's not good news. The fact that I'm asking that already. <laughs> on on the third level. Yeah. What's that smell? It's my plane <laughs> disintegrating under my feet. Let's see. Slowest lasers ever. Well, uh, light uh, goes slower in space. That's yeah. why. <laughs> Duh, physics. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's joking. More scoring. That's right. Or, or, or finishing, rather. <laughs> or finishing. The O star in the O of novice is that intentionally there? I'm, I'm guessing it's supposed to be there. Where are? Something for your ass. Extra lives. Oh, well, I kamikaze, but at least I finished the level. Yay! That's one way to do it. Leaving me with my last man at 4,440. There we go. Additional Galaxians will be added for each ranking through Space Kernel. Okay. Oh, no. That's in challenge mode. They're Jeez. not slow. They're definitely able. <laughs> oh! Too bad, space rookie. Oh yeah, it's made it to level four. It, it, it said, I thought it said. I know I didn't do fourteen levels, but I thought it said. Oh no, is that one we need? Okay, yeah, no, not even on the board. So, so uh, I'm just gonna wipe the stains of my failure <laughs> from the stick. Yeah, and I'll pass it over to you. But I'll, uh, but I feel like I'll be better prepared on the next run. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. These are just warm ups. These are warm ups. Oh, come on. Yeah. He's just a happy Corfian. Just laying down his family. Yeah. I'm going to ruin the curse. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be back by eight. Oops, I gotta be in bed. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the Corfians are all just like kids. <laughs> the adults don't even know what's up. They're like, invading Earth? What are you doing? You shouldn't be doing that. They, those <laughs> humans could give you icky diseases or something. Yeah. The filthy animals. So Corey used to work at an arcade. I did. I was a shift manager. <laughs> at so Command HQ. What era was that? That when era was... Uh, I started in uh, 1992. Uh, but... Oh, sorry. They, they were they were running uh, games. They they did they weren't going super retro at the time. They were like moving ahead. Yeah. So there, um, it was it was mostly titles you would expect from the nineties. There's a, lots of fighting games. Uh, yeah, fighting games. Uh, but they did have like really cool games at the time, like Buster Brothers and yes. uh, Cooperative. And they had uh, um, they had race driving and hard driving and air combat and so oh and the the Amazing Mad Dog McCree. <laughs> I was gonna mention that eventually. Yeah, which which also uh, that th those people also did like uh, they did well they did the sequel and then they did I think S Space Pirates or no Space Pirates was a movie, uh, <laughs> but 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 something like that like there was a, an outer space one. That was kind of the uh, continuation of Dragon's Lair, -ish yeah, era, uh, style of games where everything's pre-recorded. Yeah, where there's like it's it, it's like yeah it's like Dragon's Lair meets Choose Your Own Adventure. Yeah, and uh, because because your your shooting did matter, and yeah. there was there was certain Easter eggs that you would have to learn about, uh, uh, unlike Dragon's Lair where it was just like all in the timing. Like I I beat Mad Dog Decree. I I couldn't beat Dragon's Lair or Space Ace or any of those games. I was absolute shit. <laughs> like 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 it's embarrassing. Like this, it's embarrassing. Like not being able to shoot any of these dudes. 
but, but you're there not dying. There we go. That's, that's, that's a bonus. There we go. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, you at least made it to the flagship level. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was... Yeah. The VIC-20 version was a lot different. Obviously, it wasn't arcade, but, like, the flagship was a little more docile than that version. <laughs> this one really wants you to die. Yeah. Shoot it where it flashes. Gorf, where the Gorfian commander is played by Norman Fell. <laughs> he keeps looking at the camera. Yeah. Norman! <laughs> but that's my thing! Yeah, it really was his thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quit breaking the fourth wall, Norman. <laughs> Space Pirates is an ALG. The movie you're thinking of is Ice Pirates. Ice Pirates, Pirates. yeah. Uh, you are correct. Okay. Ah. Space Cadet! And then, do I get nice. extra life now? I think I did. I don't know where I, when I get extra lives. I couldn't find it in the manual. So uh, this really is quite a bit more stylized a version of 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 Space Invaders than yes. Yeah, it's a uh, dome shield. Yeah, and and the way he lays them out and stuff, as opposed to it's just like Much hey, here's the whole armada. Go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, it came up quite a bit after, not too too long after Space Invaders, but you know you got to jazz it up. Nice shots. Thank you. Not too bad with that style of timing up shots with uh, moving objects. Because you have the speed of your bullet plus the speed of the... Right. Speed of the object, uh, the enemy. I think I think that's part of what my adjustment period is here too. Because at home for uh, this age of game, what I've been playing a lot of is Mega Mania where you're... It's oh, guided God, that's, yeah, that's all it is, that game. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and... Um, so I gotta remember, it's like, sh sh the, just shoot it and leave it, right? Like, just move yeah. away. Like, don't wait for your shot to hit. Ooh, oh, nice <laughs> shot. Thank you. Just got my shot back in time. Oh. Um, so step us through uh, your console slash PC uh, eras. Like, did what gaming system did you start out on? I and this is uh, like owning. Yep, uh, 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 absolutely. My, the, f the first thing I ever owned was uh, my, my grandpa used to manage pubs, and they were decommissioning a pong machine. Ooh, wow. So, oh no, no wait, actually we got that after. I apologize. Okay. Uh, but we did have a pong machine. Uh, but uh, no, my my first was a uh, Coleco Gemini, uh, which most are familiar with as. Uh, uh, Coleco's basically Atari 2600 clone. Yep. Uh, which, I'm sorry, I prefer in every conceivable way <laughs> to uh, to the actual Atari. And last for me. Uh, well, why? Give us sorry. Uh, value for starters. I, I I got I got the questionable Atari Donkey Kong and <laughs> Mousetrap with the system. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, but but also because I loved. I love the, the, the side button and the small joystick. Uh, that, those were was, good. Uh, if they had made the controllers hardier, it would have been better because it was yeah. easy for them to break down. Yeah. Um, but it was a smaller system. You could set it in a much smaller space. Yeah. Uh, True. The, the, the switches, uh, except for, um, like, I don't know. I just... I just like the look of it better, but... How about the paddles built into the joysticks? I didn't play a lot of paddle games until okay. I got my first actual Atari, which was actually later on. Right. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I played a little bit. I played uh, Kaboom. Okay, uh, yeah. I, I loved Kaboom. Oh, I'm even so though terrible it's, at it. Me too, but it's stre so hard. It stressed me out, but... Oh, yeah, super stressed. Yeah. Um, but... Um, but uh, so so I went from from the Gemini to I was still playing on my Gemini when I got my original NES, which was after the Pong oh, machine. How about the pet? The pet? Commodore. Oh, oh not the pet. Oh 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 the Vic Twenty. Vic Twenty. Sorry. The Vic Twenty. I actually yeah you're right. The Vic Twenty was while was while I had the Gemini too. My dad picked it up on sale and it loaded its games. We didn't have the disc drive. We had the data set, so it was right. loading by cassette. Okay. And, and and it was really cool, Dad. Uh, when when he bought it secondhand, it, it came with a whole stack of Compute Magazine. Oh, nice! So um, typing, typing. Yeah. So uh, um, 
my, my dad went basic <laughs> and uh, um, he taught me how to put the, the lines of code in then too which is the only coding I've ever done in my entire life <laughs> didn't continue on with your illustrious programming career no it wasn't going to happen uh, but um, but but there were some cool games there was a, a Pac-Man clone that worked on a kind of like horizontal diamond system called Gotcha okay there was a Galaxian clone called Galactic Blitz uh, which ran off data set and I mentioned the cartridge we did have gore for a cartridge and we had deadly duck I loved that game yeah um, and it was it was fun having the Vic 20 uh, but uh, and, and then I then I went to the NES but the Vic 20 was it, it fried uh, bef- when we moved like by the time we moved so I, I still have the Gemini but then we went to a regular NES oh nice shot thank you so that's 10 levels I think uh, sorry, you went to the NES, yeah? Yeah, and then uh, uh, just stuck totally with that for a while. I never owned an organic Super NES or anything like that. Right. Uh, my next system after that was a PlayStation 1. Nice. And uh, although, to be, uh, yeah, uh, when I was living with Kevin, Kevin had all the oh, systems. So I got yeah. to try things like the 3DO and uh, the um, uh, the Jaguar yep. and things like that. Uh, I briefly had a spinach Game Boy. And uh, um, I, I mostly just played Tetris on it, but I, but but Game Boy was such a cool, such a cool innovative thing too. Though and you had an amber screen PC as well. Uh, did you play any games on that? Amber screen PC, which that uh, for BBSing? Oh yeah, yeah, because because we had that yeah um, running network speeds of twenty four hundred bucks. Was it amber? Or was it green? It was green. I think or that's why it threw me it off. Back and forth. No, 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 not mine. Okay. Uh, but, 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 yeah, uh, we. So remember your mom being on that all the time. All the time, and occupying the phone line <laughs> all the time. <laughs> uh, but she, she was, she was pretty cool. She learned how yeah. to navigate uh, BBSs, and uh, she didn't do the STS chats. But, but that's where kind of where I started with that stuff. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But um. Uh, some of my first porn was viewed line by line by line. There's porn on the internet? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, it was before cat videos. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, and cat videos took over. And, and it was so funny because it, like, it was like, it says this is a picture of a naked woman. Okay, there's the first line. <laughs> it looks like it could be. Maybe. Hey, let's grab a sandwich. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Come back in ten minutes. Yeah. Uh, uh, but we, there was... Oh! Uh, yeah, th- th- there was a game that was kind of like it was when digitized characters were starting, so it was kind of yeah. like a little Mortal Kombat Street Fighter-y Wait, wannabe fighting game. Yeah. Uh, it was okay, but <laughs> highly inadequate. <laughs> like, even for its time, right? It was just disappointing. But uh, yeah. so, so I didn't game a lot on that. I, I will mention a standout text adventure for the VIC-20, though. Oh, called Hospital Adventure, where there's a dictator oh. up on the top floor or something, <laughs> and and you have to assassinate him. Oh my god! And cool. uh, and you have to you have to ask the computer questions, and like it, it goes kind of choose your own adventure type for yeah. letting you advance. And if you type in things that make no sense, it's like it's like I don't know what you're asking. Me. <laughs> but 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 um, I put a lot of time into that game. I never beat it. <laughs> yeah, text adventures are really really cool. Yeah, like like uh, at first ones like, with uh, really big vocabulary. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, so this is the fifteenth level, I believe, because okay. there's five levels. So each ship you get your. Okay, was that ten? Tenth level. Oh yeah, because you thought you were at the tenth. That must have just been the ninth that you were at when you thought it was the tenth. Oh, I thought it was the fifteenth level. Oh. Am I deceived? <laughs> that was the third ship I made it to. That doesn't make any sense. That's true. Yeah, you're right. And it's it's five levels per, right? Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you'd only liked how you played ten of them. <laughs> Maybe those don't count. You didn't do very well in those. <laughs> Is that? Am I going crazy? S. Ramirez, help me out. Um, Anyone want to corroborate? What's going on? <laughs> S. Ramirez is in the chat. The expert. Still missing the final patch. Uh, I hope to get my copy one day so I can try for a patch. <laughs> Hitman 1980. Don't know that game. This might become a long night. Hey, hey. So, like, what was... Do, ga- do the levels only count? 
after you pass them, the child. Thanks. Um, and they only count in groups of ten? Or groups of five? Is that... Because I literally made it to level 14. Or yeah, level it's, it's, 15 yeah, I made it to. But I didn't pass level 15. Is that why it only says 10? Oh, does it only give you credit for each full run? I'm guessing? Interesting. Lay back the table. But let's look at the oh, achievement. Uh, you have to make it to level 20, I'm mission 21. Here. And mission 26, and mission 36, and mission 51. Oh, okay. That makes sense, that they're counting in fives. Because okay. each of these achievements are one past a five. Oh, okay, fair. That same thing happened last time. Yeah. It's time to learn, Corey. Learn things. Ooh, dug yourself out of all there. Good yeah. job. This feels like Mega Mania. <laughs> Much less on the screen than in Mega Mania. Yes. That is like so many things on the screen. Mission T3. T3? <laughs> Don't think I'll I'll be doing any rage resetting today. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, ah, run away! Oh yeah, you can move up and down. I forgot. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't even realize I was doing it. I always forget. That's this. part of the problem. Because almost every one of these games, these style of games, space shooters, you don't move up and down. Exactly. This has the centipede effect. That's right. You can move a little bit up and down. And there's no annoying spider to knock you off if you try and... Oh! oh. It's so... not forgiving on the pixels, I see. Like Oh, oh for... it's, yeah. it's okay. one to one on this. Hitboxes are no bigger than, uh, than the characters. So, uh, Steve, what level did you make it to on the last challenge? On the challenge mode? Stop throwing planets at me, man. <laughs> it's like a root vegetable. <laughs> Turnips try to kill me. <laughs> Whoa. Gamma Dev says, see, it's not a Galaxian ripoff. We've added a whole new dimension <laughs> of movement. That's true. Oh, I can move up and down on this, too. That changes the game. Can completely. I always move up and down? I think you can. Oh, wow. <laughs> that does help with dodging. And Feature sure. unlocked. <laughs> That's right. He can shoot through the shield, which yes. is completely unfair. He doesn't even take it down for a second to shoot through it. Or aliens advanced technology. I'm already dead, but I, wow. You made it further. Uh, uh, 300 points further. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I did a thing. So hard. <laughs> it's taunting you. Said you should play an easier game. <laughs> oh, you can go up to tiny bit. A tiny bit on this one. Not very high. Probably because it's not very useful. I'll have to go up very much on this one. But I guess if you're trying to time up a tighter shot... Yes, that does help. Oh, oh! now you can go higher as oh, they get lower. Uh, or maybe it's just when they're coming out. You can um, go only Oh yeah, because you seem to be about the same level. Yeah. What's your strategy for that level? Um, take out the laser guys as quickly as possible, um, because they just prevent you from moving on the screen as much. Yeah, I guess they, they limit your mobility. Yeah, so that's my strategy for that. This one is just shoot and survive. Reminds um, me of demons to diamonds, where like, the, the beam just occupies a whole area and like boxes you in. <laughs> I barely played that game. I've it been looks pretty hooked cool. on it lately, actually. Because um, uh, for the 
anniversary of the 2600. Yeah. I don't know what anniversary. 45th? Mm -hmm. uh, we played every single Atari 2600 game. Wow. By release date. It took many, many, many weeks. <laughs> uh, we uh. did a three minute time limit on each game. Fair. Which doesn't uh, allow you for in-depth playing, but sure uh, you got to get through the 500 games. Plus, well, since that's usually the length of most games, you're pretty much covered. <laughs> like, I always forget and shoot the wrong color. Uh, it doesn't give you a lot of time for, let's say, space shuttle by activation. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's like, okay, we're in the air. <laughs> and we got to go. Yeah. Although it's, was, it's, it's, time for, uh, it's enough time for 10 games to stampede. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's true. Or barnstorming. Yeah. Um, ah. I was always so bad at both those games. I feel bad. I wanted to be better at them. Well, barnstorming requires a lot of memorization. That's why that one's very hard. My ADHD brain was, would make have made that a problem for sure. So I needed Tanya's help when I did the barnstorming pitch. Um, but I did get it. Shot. Thank you. Um, for the stampede. You just have to know how to manipulate the cows properly. Um, like, you get I don't understand. three rows of slow cows. Yeah. And then you just keep pushing them forward, and then they, and then they, they're just slow on the screen the whole time. And then you get the points from the fast ones that that you can concentrate on because the other rows are slow. So is your time? On Stampede, then, is, is your time elongated by the more cows you get? Um, you just get more point. You just don't die. But, yeah, you get... The game doesn't stop. The game doesn't stop. Because okay. you only have to get three cows missed, I think. Oh! Right? Okay, I never knew what was stopping me, because when I played oh. that game, I never owned it, so I never checked the instructions. I was just like, well, I guess that's all we do. We just get as many cows as we can during that short period of time. That's right. Uh, no, it is, uh, yeah, you get to miss three cows, and so you want to elongate your time getting cows. Oh, God, that was terrible. Um, and the only way to do that is to keep the slow ones, which are actually fast, because they're running at a speed that is almost as fast as you are. And so you don't have to worry about those lanes as much. Yes, okay. And you just keep pushing them forward when they eventually reach you. Good to know. Okay. I just noticed something fun game. that you're doing, and I don't know if you realize you're doing it. Yeah. You're, when you're when you're playing up high, yeah. and then you move down, yeah. you're, drawing the, you're drawing their fire on the angle that you're not at anymore. Like, you're drawing their fire away from you. Mm, I'm not aware of that. It's like they're focusing on you, and then you've, you're already well out of the space. It and seems brilliant. It is a very good tactic for a lot of games, because they only fire where you are. Yeah. So if you're not there anymore... I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, it, was, it was the day before games that predicted where you were going. <laughs> yeah. Um, not so. On Pac-Man, it does predict where you're going. That's Actually, what some that... of the ghosts uh, are heading. They head towards where you're going to be. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so that's uh, the AI and uh, <laughs> the um, the strategy for the ghosts yes. in Pac-Man is quite clever, actually, in a very simplistic way, because uh, each of, each ghost has its own patterns for trying to get you. Uh, one is going for you. Uh, one yeah. is going f for where you're going to be. Uh, one is like random, I think. I can't remember. Well, 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 well yeah, in, in the arcade game Pac-Man, yeah. um, it's it's like that too. The red ghost is like, and the pink ghost are always the most dangerous. Yeah, red one goes right for you. And, and the blue one is like the, the wild card. Uh, and um, orange is uh, Clyde Sue, depending on which game you're playing. Yeah. Or whatever the original names of them are. I always forget. Mm -hmm. No, no. Uh, there were there's older ones. Uh, forget. It, uh, Bob, Esmeralda. No, 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 no. They they didn't have like they had weird names. Uh, when I turn my phone on later, I'll look it up. But but yeah, the ones everybody knows them by, right? Yeah. yeah. So the um, I think that uh, oh, I thought that would have ended them on that one. Yeah, I got a pixel instead of a flashing thing. Oh. Uh, Oh, there's like one. There we go. If 
you go in for badges you shouldn't play on novice because the strain training stages don't count. But I have to play on novice to get the to get the patch. Yeah, because you have to play. There's four patches. Um, it's a good point for. Oh, is that why they don't count? Oh, so that would explain why you're. But why you can they gave you credit for each level then. Right. That's why I only got up to ten. Okay. But we're supposed to play on novice. Is my mistake in, in interpreting the patch rules? Oh. Because it is four patches, one for each skill level. Yeah, uh, I think I think I'm doing it right. How many patches so far? Uh, grand total of. Oh, it says see you're on mission six now. Okay. Yeah, so it didn't count. But how do I get it to count <laughs> while being on novice? So I haven't I even beaten don't. a flagship yet, so I haven't even made it past the training stages. Oh no! Oh, I'm that guy. I mean, I, I think the, the bullet carryover tactic that I'm using is a uh, holdover from Galaga. Where, oh. Where you draw them and then move the other way. Yeah. Yeah, because you have you can kind of slip under them, which is yeah. what's been burning me when I get caught on the angles here is because I'm treating it like that as well, I think. Yeah, and you don't want to get cornered, so you kind of stay middle-ish, so yeah. that... You can be over there, but then move to the other side. I need to utilize the up and down more to my advantage as well. It does but, help in certain situations. Like, in this level, it seems to be super oh, helpful. Yeah. As soon as they turn and fire, you're just declining out of it. You don't need to worry about the angle anymore. Yeah. That's what it seems like, anyway. Can you read what Johnny says? He says, uh, Novice patch is much easier to get than the others, even with the five train models. Oh, okay. So the f you have to do the five train models. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, novice would be the nice easiest shot. one, of course. Yes, it's novice. Ah, I went right through him. No, no, there's just no space between the words. It means no vice, which no means vice. you're the best. Oh, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> I love the scaling on this level. It's, yeah, it's really well done. It's like four sizes. Yeah, it's kind of Solaris-y, a little bit gyrus. Little yeah, little yeah. Very gyrus. Except Literally. gyrus, you can go full 360 around. Of yeah, course, but... I love gyrus. Me too. Again, gets my blood going. Oh yeah. And the music. Yeah. So good. Gyrus was a Parker Brothers title, wasn't it? I think. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. On the. Um, yes. Yeah, I can pitch a cartridge. Yeah. On the uh, 2600, yes. Parker Brothers released it. They made, they put out some good games. Oh yeah, uh, definitely. Um, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, um, what is your favorite 2600 game of the classic old school, of course? Uh, okay, so this, so this is leaving out Activision games and things nope. like that. Uh, no, nope. uh, uh, on the Atari system. Let's oh, say. okay, like they were actually released, uh, released uh, during its golden era, basically. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Up to uh, 77 to 92. Um, I absolutely love Mega Mania. Yeah. And I am too. better at it than this game is indicating <laughs> with shooting. Uh, um, uh, a lot of my favorites are Activision. Uh, oh, I, yeah. I, um, yeah, Frostbite, of course, is going to be in there. Um, yeah. Uh, non Activision games. Um, uh, even though I wasn't the greatest at it, I really liked, um, uh, what was it called? Uh, Congo Bongo. Oh, I just it, it it just didn't have enough pixels to support. It, it, yeah, Kongo it was Bongo. it was rough. Yeah, it, it was like, what am I looking at? The flickering thing. <laughs> you know the flickering thing beside the flickering thing yeah. that's trying to be like three quarter view <laughs> perspective on a Atari Twenty Six Hundred. It's like good luck. I also really loved uh, the 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 M Network and television ports. Like I loved Astro Blast. Yeah. Uh, um, Space Cavern. Oh yeah, Space Cat yeah. is so good. Yeah, and uh, I loved I loved that you you had to 
met out your ammo. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes. Th- like, it wasn't unlimited. You had to go pick up some more ammo. And those stupid spiders would freeze you in place. It's like, no, stop. <laughs> and the other things would steal everything from you. Yeah. But it was the robots you had to worry about. But, really good variety in that game. Yeah, and... Even though uh, it, was a, it was a maze game. Like, so many maze games have been made, but that yeah. one had a lot of things that differentiate. Oh, uh, and uh, I... I know I'm probably in the minority on this, but I love Porky's. And it's, it's, once I understood it... <laughs> yeah, it's not the worst game in the world. It's yeah. got a lot of depth to it in multiple screens. For them trying to bring in stuff from the movie for an audience that clearly wasn't old enough to see that movie. Yeah. Yeah, like... Um, oh, oh, and Yar's Revenge is oh, amazing. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, sorry, that I keep thinking of all of them. Uh, <laughs> But but uh, I love it. Uh, Dig Dug, of course. Dig Dug on the twenty six hundred was very good. And Vanguard. Oh, Vanguard was a great translation to the twenty six hundred. One not talked about a lot game that was really cool for uh, Atari two was Fast Food, and yeah. uh, so so one note though. But but it, but at the fast levels, it requires so much skill to avoid the purple pickles, <laughs> yes. right? Yeah. And um, it is a it's a good concept, but it's just so it just it repeats over and over and over. Yeah, um, that's my only gripe with it. The the, the base concept is is cool, but uh, yeah, it's not, not not a lot of depth, let's say. Oh, and even though it's nothing like the actual arcade game or any other version, I had a lot of fun playing uh, Coleco Zaxxon for the twenty six hundred. Remember what the the, the twenty six hundred? Oh God, oh, I knew it. <laughs> no three quarter view. Off. It was head on, and, okay. and perceiving height and depth was a little tougher. Mm, but yeah. it was the first Zaxxon that I played. When I went to the three quarter view, I was shit at it. Because <laughs> I played it on my uh, Commodore sixty four before I played oh. uh, the twenty six hundred Zaxxon, and the C sixty four version was is quite decent. I'll bet. Um, I like a lot of C64 oh, games. That's, I was very, very happy to have a C64 uh, growing up because it had such great game translations. Oh my god. You're doing amazing. <laughs> uh, I don't want to say that because I'll die. That's why I'm <laughs> saying it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm saying it for you. Yeah, I cannot admit it. That is the rule of gaming. As soon as you just say, oh, I'm doing so good. Yeah. Oh my god, it's the best I've ever done. Dead, dead, dead. It's right game up there with, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> yeah, you just you cannot say that. Or, or, hey, he's almost got a shutout. <laughs> and oh, no, no, no. don't laugh at me. I, I was going to say, that's quite the sucker. <laughs> that's so rude. Oh. How about you, favorite original generation ones? Um, a lot of... Oh, I'm up too far. No, is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it. it. Better. I made it up to yeah, level... Yeah. Well, you don't count it, so 15, I guess. So I need one more round and kill the end guy, of course. Right. Yep, 15. Yeah. So it is calculating it like that. Five at a time. Next one, I'll get it. I'll get it. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, let's just go through Activision ones first. Um, May as well start. Mega Mania, of course. Um, I did like Frostbite. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're really good at it, and 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 um, games that you tend to be good at, probably because you put so much time into it, is why uh, you you like it. Uh, like they go hand in hand. Yeah. Um, oh my God, it's so true because you so develop annoying. a soft spot for it. Yeah. Like I used to score pretty good at Dig Dug too, right? So oh yeah, it, it got added to my list. Yeah. Big Doug is so, so good on the 2600. What is wrong with me? <laughs> it, it's, I'm looking up at them instead of telegraphed. looking down at me. Oh boy. They're getting, they're getting into death, death zone. Now what happened? Oh, they just... they. Uh, it's it's okay. We're going to put you on the next level, dude. It's We, we feel bad for you. <laughs> they should. Because <laughs> I am... Hero... I do like. I liked Hero. I Hero just, was cool. I forgot about that. The, the only thing I didn't like was the pause when you pressed up to do your heli- to do your copter, yes. which 
screwed me on the higher levels where you have to do the underground parts with the water. And I hate that if you don't have the memorization down, oh. you could just slide into instant death and there was no win no. Yeah, you have to be cautious That's on like, every screen. It's like, hey, am I going to hit a lava wall? Yeah. Um, oh, look, there's a spider web there. Yeah. Uh, uh, or an unexpected snake came out of the wall. Yeah, oh yeah, that too. That just pissed me off. Blind, blind jumps, or blind anything in games. I just, yeah. I usually just refuse to play them because it's like, well, I'm just going to die because I haven't memorized the whole bloody level. Yeah. Uh, especially when you get really far into it. Um, but the, the new version of um, Hero for the 2600, Artie, okay. uh, corrects that pause. Oh, and it nice. is so nice. Oh my Just God. to feel like you've got that bit of instant control. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. I forget. Oh, it's this one. The pause gets you on the lava levels, too. 100%. Astro Blast is coming to the Atari VCS. Okay. A, a new Astro Boss? Yeah. Um, the Atari's redoing a lot of their old titles to modernize them. Nice. Um, for, their, for their new console. So, like on the Atari 50 yeah. pack... Um, that's the worst. I, I, I can't play and talk about this game. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. Like, like you guys uh, are not going to get that two minutes back of my gameplay. <laughs> oh, the naming of the new Atari console makes my head hurt so much. That's the VCS what it's 800. Okay, so is it because it's supposed to combine the best elements of the VCS and the 800? Yes. That. Naming uh, your console something that already exists. Like just, Xbox just, calling the new uh, Xbox the Xbox? Yeah, the Xbox is just a mess of games. It's yeah. the worst. Oh my god, I got it. Um, but like, how are you... Are they just making it so that they're gonna, like, uh, spam the... Spam Google with search words? Right. So that anybody searching for Atari VCS is gonna come up with the new one. <laughs> I. They must be doing that. That must be it. That's their brilliant plan? Yeah. yeah. And 800. It's like, anybody yeah. searching Atari 800, the 8-bit system, is now going to get yeah. our new system. Oh, God. Wow. They didn't mess around with you there. No kidding. It's like, huh. I don't know that you really had a way out there at all. Uh, well, I couldn't shoot the laser guy. I, I guess I could have shot the other guy, but he came through the laser, didn't he? Oh, yeah. No, there was no way out. There was like a cross attack. Only anticipation of what was about to happen could have saved me. Um, hard for me to think of games, but well, I'm playing, but I'll try. I did like Yards of Ranch. I played that quite a bit. Yeah. Once the once they take away the safe shield zone, like my, I'd start to panic. Ah, uh, yes. It's like, it's like, get away from me, you drone! Oh god. <laughs> oh. Went to the wrong place. I didn't know it was possible to kill you twice on one man, because they both <laughs> seem to get you before you're you Multiple vaporized and diving yeah. into me. <laughs> Make sure he's good and dead. <laughs> so, one time when we were raising money to fund our band, for, I don't know what, we had a... Oh, yeah, we had the auction. We the had a, an auction and an Atari Olympics at the same time. Ah, yeah, uh, that was fun. I can't remember why we did... Did somebody win prizes for getting high scores? I can't remember why we had Atari games at the auction. <laughs> well, 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 the Atari competition was, like, I think people... Did they... Pay money I think they to go bet on it? us in a totally legal way. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we, I think we were fundraising for the CD pressing. Oh yes, that must have been it. Um, and we, and we played some Atari games, and I don't know I exactly why, but it was fun. Yeah, we, we had we had a bunch of your Commodore 64 monitors set up, so the display yes. was excellent. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. And uh, on stage once, we uh, used the Commodore monitors as like. Our dis our display, like uh, we were ahead of our time for retrowave oh, today. Oh, hundred percent ahead of our time. I remember when I would string the VHS tape across my keyboard stand too to have it like hanging. Oh yeah, yeah. So so cool. We're so cool. <laughs> I know. So so avant garde. But we like I did like this video display and and played it off of a VCR, I believe. Yep. Um, and it was like some colorful weirdness. I can't remember what it was. Yeah. Probably a, v, uh, a VLC plugin or something. Yeah, yeah. Or a Winamp plugin. Yeah, it was Winamp. That's right. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, 
And it wasn't in time to our music or anything, because nope. it was on VHS, and that would not work out well. But luckily yeah. it was just, like, colors and stuff, yeah. right? It, it was the closest anything. thing to a visualizer, yes. right? So. And that's what I wanted to do, but yeah. retro at the same time. Yeah, nobody nobody wanted retro when we were doing it, though, though. It doesn't you know. sound new. That's right. It's not uh, far enough gone for you to like this That's music. the curse of my life. Is being ahead of my time and underappreciated, yeah. and then like five, ten years later, everybody's doing it, and everybody's watching what uh, those people that are doing it. Like G I had one of the first streaming radio stations yeah. on the internet. Rant Radio. Um, I had one of the first, um, like it was podcast before podcast existed. Yeah. Um, I was doing. Uh, YouTube videos before YouTube existed. Yeah, we did. We did. Uh, um, we did rap rock before rap rock broke. Yeah, just before too. Just like a yeah, year or two before. And yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I can think of another example which you may not remember. You yeah. one time we were using that green monitor screen computer upstairs. Yeah. And um, the uh, you're like I have this concept. For like a game, it'd be like a game, but everybody would eventually like just sort of connect and be all in the same place at home at the same time. <laughs> they would have like a person, and they would like live day to day in that. And then The Sims yes. came out. Yes. And I then, of course, that. every single multiplayer video game. Yeah, but mine was specifically like The Sims. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I I still have the the paperwork of all my ideas for that. And I and I will like back you in a court a lot of the court. Yeah, that somebody can back me up on I that. I can totally back you up on that. But it, it was like you lived your life, and it was it was The Sims. Um, and this was I came up with that in ninety uh, one ninety. Yeah, that, that, like that sounds about right. Yeah. yeah, I think I came up with it when I was in uh, Calgary. Oh come on, I came out of nowhere. Oh, I'm doing much Color me bad. Any EMF for tearing up the charts. <laughs> right no oh. uh. have we had our halcyon days <laughs> like, is this, is this is... well we'll do one more round and if it's bad okay. uh, but I'm so close to the first patch. yeah I, I really want to make sure I get that I'm so close to beating the training level <laughs> that's right um, but the, the multiplayer online games have been happening forever um, it may not have been like over the internet, but multi-user dungeons. Yes, had it existed, and I, like, just the concept of living a life. Yeah, online, like, like Second Life and IMVU. And yeah, all those. that that was the, that was the, the thing. Um, I did the first, probably the first, like, great. Now you want to kill the guys on the sides. Oh yeah, that's right. They're like, going, do, 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 that's do. right. No wonder. That's like basic space invader strategy too. It is. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's close. Dumb ass thought. Hit. Ha ha ha. We auto promote. <laughs> you cannot escape your mediocrity. Well, not even mediocrity, because mediocrity would mean I would have beat the training level at least. Um, remember that weird timed song that we did once where it was like did 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 yeah did, did. I heard a song like that Yellow Wolf did a song like that yeah and I'm like god damn it yeah I did that 20 years ago yeah <laughs> no one was ready for it no I'm actually not, I'm not saying that no no, no I it's was not the like, best oh of course did, but of course it's the, just the funny creativity yeah and 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 thinking of things before they hit mainstream it's just so funny yeah yeah, um, the, uh, uh, pretty much every, every musical thing we ever did had some element of that. Oh, yes. Always, uh, always, always. There was something that, that we did that nobody, we never heard of before. No. And it's worse when you're not the trendsetter. Uh, so, like, nobody knew we existed. Thank you for subscribing, Ricardo Pim. You're awesome. It's a pity subscription for my poor play. That's right. It's it's a get better subscription. I'm get all good. about your guys' self esteem. <laughs> I, you'd be like, right. be like, I thought I was bad at this game, but then this fucking train wreck came out. <laughs> ha 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 ha! The planet <laughs> hit me in the face. That's right. We're here to make you feel better about your gameplay. Yeah. 
<clears throat> oh, I was gonna say, if you want to get particularly controversial about doing something first to uh, uh, you, uh, can you imagine if there had been, say, like a, a white rapper back then who was able to do speed raps and uh, write stuff on the spot, uh, yeah. and then like like. Yeah, I know. And then Eminem, <laughs> best I, rapper it, it, ever. Oh, he is. Arguably, of course. Yeah. yeah this is all you get in R&B, guys. It's five thousand points. That's <laughs> it's. It's. Yeah, I, I shared a lot in common with Eminem in terms of uh, style. Right. Um, Without the assistance of Dr. Dre. Uh, yes, and and Eminem is a billion times better. Oh, uh, well, yeah. He just like his ability to write on the spot. It's yeah, insane. But um, I did go for the same kind of wordsmithing that he did, and same kind of wordplay, and also I I did a lot of speed, yeah, uh, type of rapping as well. Um, I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I'm thinking of that when you're doing your micro machine subscri subscription <laughs> right. uh, thing too. I had had many years of training of talking fast. This is all new revelations. To me, by the way. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> We're not naming names. There's no, no way for them to go find it. So. Oh, it's impossible. There's just nothing. Thank God. There was no internet back then. Ha, ha, ha. Well, not as you know. <laughs> Let's say there was no web pages back then. Yes. Uh, it was only Gopher and other things that nobody's heard of now. <laughs> and news groups. Yeah, I was just saying, I remember back when there were news groups. <laughs> and we got all our news from it. <laughs> Now these people do, do remember all that. Of course they do. Our, yeah, uh, uh, they uh, more uh, familiar with it than I ever was, even. Yeah. Obviously. Our, yeah. Uh, the thirteen to nineteen demographic of this show is solidly at zero people. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it, it's like uh, I look at the Spotify results for my band, uh, and um, oh. we score great between. 28 and 65. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have nothing. Uh, we I don't know, maybe one wrong pay stream click for... What did I get here? For, yeah, for, for, for these people. Uh, the uh, Around the 18 mark, but... but yeah. And 73% of, uh, of the demographic is male. Uh, yeah. It's, um, it's 100 for this show. Uh, really? Yeah. Except for Tanya. Yeah, well, she's honest. Yeah. She doesn't even count. That's true. Oh, why am I so close to this ship? Um, th but like going off like YouTube. Yeah. Um, there are there are some women to watch. Uh, watch live, but um, it's far and few between. Yes. And and I just I blame that fully on um, the demographics of game playing in the '80s. Oh, of course. Where yeah. they just really didn't cater to women, unfortunately. Yeah, and and and. Like, actively when, tried not to when I'm they sure. did it was like pandering, pandering like strawberry shortcake and, uh yeah it's like it's like look it's pink yeah, yeah you should play it <laughs> uh, but but my mom was the best astro blast player i've ever seen yeah yeah she like i'm not exaggerating like like it would get to <sighs> dizzying speeds and she had this way of being able to position herself so when the um I call them ulcer givers would fall. <laughs> oh, those, yeah. Yeah, she'd spinny, be spinny yeah. white things. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, that's too easy. Here's the thing that goes beep, 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 and just comes straight for you. One shot kills? Yeah. No, not yet. No. That would be very nice. There have been one shot kills, but they've all been me dying. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Why do you kill me so good? For dying. <laughs> to call the Um So in the in Command HQ they, they didn't really have yeah. any old school games. They they kept up like, the, games that by today's standards would be considered still super old school, but yeah. We were definitely in the time of like being able to have more than chiptune tunes for the soundtracks, yeah. uh, digitized images. We were it was kind of at the cusp. It was the second coming of the arcade though at that time. Right? It was. I think the the fighting games ushered to that in. Yep. Um, like the Street Fighter, etc. And the Street Fighter. Yeah, oh, that game was, I'm sorry, awful. <laughs> it really was. I, I mean, but they, they tried. They tried to give it like a blood sport feel. But and it it's just, like, oh, new technology, we're digitizing people. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's kind of cool. Too bad the game, everybody likes the actual game. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> a a anybody who talks about, about 
fighting games and the father of fighting games, like of like one on one fighting games, right? Karate champ. Yeah, straight karate champ. And you were you were working with two, oh, two, two joysticks. joysticks for the moves, which very which, obscure moves too. It's like yeah. up and down, left and right, <laughs> left and left. It's like what? Yeah, but but once you realized that you weren't going to be doing a lot of moving left and right, right. that you were going to be just most of your moving would be by jumping and flipping. Right? Yeah. Which which that was the easy one, right? A forward uh, flip was two joysticks up, and a backward flip was um, one up, one down. Uh, and, and, right. I but, remember that move. But in order, if you, if you flipped over someone, in order to turn to face them again, you needed to waste time on a move that would turn you facing that way if you weren't close to the guy. <laughs> but I loved that game. Uh, I just, I, it's one of those ones where I have to memorize the controls, which I'm terrible at. Um, so I just never did very well. Oh, Fair. Where am I gonna go? Where I remember I could move up. Where I had issues was playing the NES port of it because it was all button based except oh. for the one joystick. So everything I knew was gone. Right. Yeah. It all the controls were completely different. I did enjoy with how pixely the men were. How when one of them went down, how well they illustrated how much pain. Oh, the guy yeah. getting hit was they they like when they you kicked the dude in the stomach he went down yeah yeah he's like oh doubled over is is he's clutching his <laughs> chest and or his stomach and he's not in a good spot it's not like Mortal Kombat 34 where where where, where there's my blood spine spr yeah <laughs> my spine's everywhere <laughs> oh it's okay it's just a flesh wound I'll yeah, be back uh, next yeah. round no problem yeah we'll blame it on alternate universes and <laughs> and special power dark powers. Uh. I always said a shooting game where like it, yeah. you, you're just like infantry in World War One, and you, you're one and done. If you're shot, you die. You have one shot. Yep. You'd, you'd pay for your character, and then you'd be so fucking careful. You, you'd like <laughs> yes. fight for real, right? Like you'd be like, what what genres of games do you like the most? Or are there any ones that it's you gravitate over towards? Yeah. Yeah. Um. I need to think about that one first. Or even old school, let's just say. Uh, okay. Like, there's, there's shooters like this, or like Galaga. There's uh, platformers. I, I, I do enjoy the early vertical shooters. Yeah. Um, and even though they're, they, they've are they got you set to fail, even the sort of second generation vertical shooters, things like Arrow Fighters, I really oh, love that I game. Love those types of games. But, but, but then similar titles like, say, Raiden or Zuvius. Yeah. Um... um um, I thought uh, frustrated me. Okay. Or like, like 1942, where where it was so hard to not die. <laughs> like, like, but 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 I still, I, I'd say those were probably my favorites of the time. Yeah. But but I also so many games to think about. Uh, as, as you know, I was quite into the the fighting games before the one-on-one -on -one fighting games. Yeah. I was good at Street Fighter until Super Street Fighter 2, and then I became terrible. Yeah. I was, uh, out of all the Mortal Kombat's, I was the best at Mortal Kombat 3, and then I became terrible. Okay, yeah. Um, became terrible. Uh, yeah, because... because Did people get better, or you got worse? Well, well, um, gameplay got... Uh, with fighting games got increasingly more bent on you weren't going to succeed unless you could do these preset mm. combos. Right. And then they were like, you're just going to save up for your super move. <laughs> right. Which I, I didn't hate, but I was just like, I couldn't strategize around it. Like, my, like with Street Fighter, when I play, I would generally play as, as Ryu, but, um, but I would approach it very organically. I, I wouldn't do it as a system. I'd be like, I'd look for openings and move in aggressively rather than hang back and block because I would always die if I hung back and blocked. Okay. I always felt like I just had a shot if I charged in. Right, because uh, you'd be on the defensive constantly trying yeah. to block things. And, um... Uh, but then, when it started moving out of, like... Because I used to be able to... Like, I'd use... I'd use moves like the Dragon Punch and the Fireball and the, the kick, of course, the yeah. helicopter kick. But Damn it! Sorry. No, no, yeah. it's my fault, not yours. But uh, I really, um, uh, when, when it, it got so combo-based, it was just like, I can't, I can't do this the way I'm used to playing it anymore. I mean, I'm okay with change. 
like when Mortal Kombat 3 introduced the running function, that was so fun. And yes, there were combos involved, but if you could pull off a good running combo, you just felt like you, were, you just felt good. Uh, got two men left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to. You got this. Defeat this guy, and I need to defeat a whole nother round. Yeah. Wait. Well, yeah. Yeah. You got this guy. Oh yeah, yeah. This this one's not too bad. Just huh? don't overthink it. And you're good. I mean, I know my advice is shit because I can't play this game, but but like I've been watching you play, and <laughs> you know what I'm capable of. Well, well your 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 timing is yeah. good for hitting the flagship, right? So. Now, I think before the show, you mentioned that you've gotten worse at video games. Not all video to, games. Oh, okay. Uh, some though. Uh, some of it is partially to do with t uh, timing and changes in my vision. Oh, I'm, I'm certainly okay. not blind or anything, but. But um, timing things in a game, in a in a in a, in a uber hard game like Ghosts and Goblins, uh, became became tougher for me on certain levels, right? Yeah. Like, uh, um, although I don't think it's totally a reflex thing because I play Spider Fighter, which is an insanely hard game. Oh my god, game. that's a good game. That goes on. My yes. Uh, oh, there you go. It's a, one of the best shooters on the 2600 yeah. classics. Era. I can't succeed unless I've got. Synthwave playing over 130 beats per minute. Like, I, like I, 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 I need the soundtrack for it. Uh, I, yeah. I'm terrible at Spider Fighter otherwise, but I, I'm reflex better at Spider Fighter than I was when I was a kid. When I was a kid, it was like, well, that was a fun five seconds. It's like, yeah, Spider Fighter kicked my ass. Same with was, Chopper Command. When I was younger. I feel, I, I feel like I'm better at Chopper Command than I was, but some games I have gotten worse at. Yeah. Well, yeah, individually, um, some games. But not very many. Mostly I've gotten better because of how many hours I put in a week on this show. Oh, and, and that's... It has increased my skill so much. That's the thing for you, right? Like, like, like I'm able to pull maybe 15, 20 minutes out of my day. But, like, right. I take I take the Have You Played Atari Today slogan quite seriously. Oh, me too. But it's, even it's if it's only... It's serious dedication. Yeah. And sometimes... Sometimes I know whether it's my day for a game or not based on how I start out yeah uh, like s some days I'll start to play Mega Mania and I'll be like nope <laughs> oh yeah, yeah yeah this is not for that it's day to day yeah as well. yeah you laser dude get out of here oh, and there's three of them left you good oh yeah they missed out there oh, oh you got him yeah. yeah you got this well, I still have to do two more rounds. Yeah. Now. I'm only on level three. Glass is half full, my friend. Yeah. I, I always... Get rid of the groupings. I always consider it an encouraging sign in games when you're able to maintain your amount of backup men. Oh, yes. Like if that's you're, so important. Yeah. Like an Astro Blast, you're always looking for... Do I still have nine men? <laughs> do I still have nine men? Yeah. Uh, Astro Blast is the one uh, where you can go to zero points after you gain points. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can, uh, uh, I think in Astro Smash, the television version, I think you could go negative. I think so too. Yeah, it's Wh which such is a unique concept of yeah, you're losing points, dude. You yeah, get better, get punishment. Better. Punishment for stupidity. Stop motivation. missing stuff. Yeah, and to be Great honest, mechanic. there's no excuse to go negative in Astro no, Smash or Astro Blast there's because so much coming down that you can't not you can't miss things. It, yeah, and well, yeah, it's because every missed one, every missed one subtracts points, but then when you die, you're punished by like a couple of hundred points as well, right? <laughs> So yeah. you can have cleared, like, because it's all color change screens in Astro Blast, right? Yeah. Like, uh, you can have advanced from the black screen to the blue screen, and then you're, yeah, you're like, yay, purple screen! And then all of a sudden you're back to, you're back to the blue screen, and you've got to make up <laughs> 600 more points at 5 and 10 points in Astro. Uh, and, and if I'm not mistaken, I, I can't remember with Astro Smash, but with Astro Blast, I don't believe you get any points at all for the spinners. That, that's oh. just your fucking job to make sure no. they don't hit the ground. Yeah. Oh, you're so close. Oh, yeah. Drop me off when he's almost down to me. That's perfect. Nope. Oh, nice. Yeah, sometimes, on, on like, if you watched on some of the games I played, I got every single one as they're, like, one pixel big. I was like, oh, that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Ship with your tag along. Oh, right. Yeah. Just gotta get rid of them. 
It doesn't bother you. Always get rid of the minions. Yes. Like, they will just destroy you if you don't get rid of them. It's really true in any boss fight in any video game. Yep. Minions yeah. first. Yeah. And, but there's... I forget... I can't remember... I can't put my finger on what game I'm thinking of, but there are a couple of games where if you let the minions distract you, you're done. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where you have to just eye on the prize, but for the most part... Like, the ones where there's minions constantly, it's like, well, they're just distractions. Yeah. If there's ones that you can get rid of, or for a little temporary amount of time then, yeah. you know, you, you get rid of them first. Yeah, uh, uh, and I, examples I'm thinking of are games where if you if you uh, you need to focus on killing the main stop, thing stop, fast... Stop, stop. Oh, you've got it. You've got it. I'm not going to talk. <laughs> no, no, no. Talk, talk, talk. Okay. That's what we do. All right. Uh, and it's normal, so... Okay. Saying nothing is kind of weird, actually. Yeah, I guess so. I shouldn't be up that high. That's the yeah, no problem. Not now. Yeah. It's because you want it so bad, right? Yeah, and all the yeah. other levels, it works really well. And his next planet's gonna come straight. Oh, yes! <laughs> still not there yet. I still have to do one more round! Yeah, but. but Thank you, S. Ramirez! It, it, yeah, it is a. <laughs> Yay, Space General! Bonus ship added! I do need that. History repeats itself. <laughs> Try and you'll succeed. You're the best around. Nothing's ever gonna bring you down. <laughs> I need that. I need the montage, the training montage. Yeah. Maybe I'm in the training Heart's montage. Hearts on fire, <laughs> strong desire, something <laughs> deep within. <laughs> de de de. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so. Corey, is it a band? Tell them the name of your band. It's awesome. My band is Nakatomi Freefall. And you get zero points if you don't know what that reference is. Yeah, exactly. And you don't get many if you do because if I have to ex if I have to explain it to you, uh, come, come, you'll fail the eighties later. Uh, <laughs> the band has nothing to do with said topic. It, it was just it's an era thing. Yeah, and because it is a synthwave adjacent band, it's nice to have some retro throwback yeah. into the title with not just calling myself like. Neon 242. Or, <laughs> although one of my best friends in Synthwave is uh, an amazing lady from Australia, and her band is is just Neon, but it's it's spelled different, Brave. but it makes all the difference. Yeah. N e a o n. It's like an oh. extra letter. You have to spell it different. Nobody will ever find your band if you call it the band. But or garbage or uh, yeah yeah let's name off all the bands default default oh who, my who, god a couple of the members of default are are, are friends of mine but like bush. it must have been tough for oh yeah bush yeah uh, live yeah oh live <laughs> poor live <laughs> special guests yeah right and 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 great uh, great ironic names, especially when oh, some of the bands awesome came names. out, right? Yeah. Uh, it's it's just unfortunate for the streaming era and for the, the search the. era. <laughs> yeah. Although the the, I think the double the the probably for, would help a lot. Yeah. yeah. Or the band. That was oh, from way back. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Generic band names. Yep. But I, I always remember Neon because of the different spelling. Right. It, it, it's it, and and her stuff is pretty distinct too. Anyway, oh, that but, helps. but yeah, but uh, no, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah, down to one. My last life. Nice shot. Thank you. Uh, well, but but yeah, that could tell me free fall. There's two of us. Two of us. My her real last name is not Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> what? Your parents? It's are a married name. Mister and Mrs. Rocket. <laughs> Yeah, my mom married Ricky Rocket from Poison, and oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, jeez. I, I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> Your upbringing. Oh, there's two of them. No, no, my upbringing's fine, but I don't want to think about any of the guys from Poison. No, if your dad was my mom, was still okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. My dad was in bands, too. He was a rock band. That's true. Right. And did that have influence on... On me getting into music? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Uh, his instrument of choice was the guitar, and I... I suck at anything but rhythm guitar and very rudimentary lead solos. Uh, I can play bass though. My bass playing has gotten a lot better. Nice. I, I learned that you're. Well, this is years ago, but I, I learned that you're supposed to play the bass near the end of the bass, not up where I was playing it before. You know, gives you a different, uh, different sound, a different feel. A maybe. Wacky, horrible noise. Patch that, that, good job. Yay. 
It's it's Estramir saying you can do it, James. That's what. Uh, Where's Stan Bush when you need him? <gasps> you got the touch. <laughs> you got the power. <laughs> Stan right. Bush, excellent. Oh, you'll get all the retro uh, references on this show with uh, <laughs> our demographic of forty-five to fifty. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but that, I mean, there's no option. Like these, this system. Yeah. is uh, almost 50 years old. Uh, I've I've met a lot of women with um, current generation interest in Atari games. Like like um, like current interest in older games and they okay. probably don't necessarily know about homebrew. Yeah. But but we're like, yeah, I went I went and played those games. Just tried it. I'm addicted to fill in game here or right. and some of it's been really surprising and it's because it's these were such a sexist generation anyway, right? Yeah. But, but, but like, it's... Uh, I thought I could adopt them. If they had, like, marketed it more evenly to all kids... Yep. Not put it, put out, like, I don't know. I don't know, I won't say anything bad about it. <laughs> like, yeah. about the, the porn games or anything. <laughs> they were well, for a completely different demographic. Thank yes, goodness. they were for adults. Yeah, but you gotta remember in the '80s too. Reagan just pulled back everything that said you couldn't market to kids. Right. Absolutely everything. So it, it was. That's why it was such a golden age of stuff, right? Like, yeah. I mean, some of it appropriately marketed to us at the time, and some of it not. But we we did come from parents who were like, "Come back when the streetlights come on." It's great. Yeah. Loved it. Me too. Freedom. No GPS tracking. Oh, what? Where did that come from? That was a fast planet. Excellent. Yay! Oh. Hey, Steve. Glad you could join. Join late, but was able to see James claim the patch. The first one, anyway. Yeah. Um. Probably won't get the second patch anytime soon. Probably won't have the other guest or have the guest on the show get his patch anytime <laughs> in the near future. We're gonna switch over to standard and just give it a go. <laughs> See how we You're do. just humiliating me now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Corey, have you had any crocodile wrestling training before? Get no? in there. Okay, well we'll, well, we'll we'll start you with like a small lizard. Oh, oh, you're not that great at it. I think we just need to up the challenge a little bit. We'll just release the crocodiles. <laughs> See, you're fine at it. Uh huh. Killed the <laughs> killed the killed the main dude right away. It's the avatar, See, it's the in, on this level, you technically don't have to do as many levels as the first one because they all count this time. Is that reassuring? A little, actually. <laughs> and so far, I'm not noticing too much of a difficulty difference. Uh, more gunfire, but that's. Uh, but, yeah. But uh, since I'm also on this one on standard. You have to reach mission 26. So it's exactly the same number of levels. I did it without As losing a man this time, so... S. Ramirez says practice. That, and I prefer a joystick with a short throw. I prefer a Gemini small stick, but... I think I do have a Gemini controller somewhere. Oh, I would ache to play. Do you want a Gemini controller? I, 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 think, <laughs> I think that's like me saying, I want the red cup. I can either do it with a joystick or I can't, right? So let's just... I don't think I should be able to make any special requests. Because <laughs> then even if I succeed, it's like, it's because he switched to a Gemini stick. That's right. I'm just not used to Let's it Let's just call him Side Button from now on. Side Button, <laughs> Side Button. Hey, Mr. Side Button. Hey, little stick. Does that go for everything? <laughs> Quit it, you guys. <laughs> Stop. Seriously. Hey. I'm going to tell. Oh, you're gonna cry. I'm not crying. I'm just intensely involved in the game. <laughs> That's a great storyline. <sighs> uh, Taunting seems to be working. I haven't lost a man yet. There we go. Whoa, me. there's a planet. There you go. It's because I said it. You said it, yeah. and it came true. I believe in me. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> a little bit till I don't. <laughs> Oh, that that was a cheap shot. That was, enemy. yeah, yeah. It had about a quarter of a second. I know. I, 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 whoa. whoa. I didn't even have reaction time, right? No. no. 
I've died like that many times. I notice when it when these things spiral, it hypnotizes you into following it. Yes, which you don't want to do. This you is so wait. funny. I'm at my 5,000 quota, guys. Time for me to lose that last man. <laughs> oh, can he break to 6,000? He's on his All way. All I want to do is beat one flagship. That's, oh. that's a good goal. It's it's lowered oh. expectations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Come on, carrot. Right Yay! Beat, carrot, turn up. Yeah. And I die immediately. Oh. It's not even my top score. Although, Can I was more comfortable. Night, Thomas. Good night. <laughs> it, it, it was more comfortable playing at that speed. I think I just Sometimes need to... that. Oh, that's not you. I think I just need. I, I'm. What are you? I, I'm CCC. Oh, so I'm easy. Really imaginative, but. In elementary school, uh, the ultimate award you could win for like uh, academic citizenship and everything was the Triple C Award. Oh, and my name, custom. Uh, yeah, so there's a real reason. It's not just a lazy oh, three Cs. Okay. <laughs> Corey, Corey, Corey. <laughs> I think I think the CCC with with today's showing in Corf is Corey can't cope. Oh, uh, closed caption Corey. <laughs> Closed caption for the glove and parrot. <laughs> it's because I made that stupid frog. Though. It's cursed to me. <laughs> Great. Let's go backwards. I think there is something to that, actually. Really? Yeah. I, uh. Anybody know the lore of the name Gorf? Like, does it does it have anything to do with frog, or did somebody just went, oh, it's frog backwards? Uh -huh. <laughs> that was the end of it. it has nothing to do with frogs. <laughs> Oh my dog! <laughs> ah. Speaking of that, this is super random, but and, and it turns out that there's a bit of a hack behind it for training the dog. Okay. But uh, they've trained some jo some dogs to play Jenga with their human masters. What? How did the dogs do it? They, with their they, nose? They, 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 they poke their nose to pop it out, and they get their teeth right in the end to pull it out. Wow. I haven't watched the video that shows what the training hack is to it. What right, how but, to start them doing it. But it's still impressive to watch. They like, pick which one, too? Like, the yeah. dogs pick? I, like, I, that I believe so. In the in the one that I saw, it definitely looked like... uncut. Uh, video of, yeah, of the you, dog doing it. Yeah, like from setup to takedown. Yeah, right. Like full game. Did, so do the dogs win? Are they really good at it? The dog beat is one. The one dog beat is human master, but they probably look specifically for that clip, right? Okay. The bigger question is: Is there a video of two dogs playing? It? <laughs> I want to see that. Big old oh, look at that! That's awesome. Killed the pixels. Diglo, uh, Diglo Abortions had a, had an album about two dogs, but that was different. <laughs> What were those two dogs doing? Who there's they up to? there's a vet in my hometown, whose whose dog and cat hospital sign looks unfortunately like the dog might be deciding who's the boss with the cat. Oh, if, poor kitty. What's that? Poor kitty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I don't really have anything else to say about that. <laughs> Nothing no. of quality. Oh, Ooh. nice shot and nice thank dodge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Okay, that's uh, one round, and I have to do five. Good luck to me, Space Captain. Yeah, you die. Oh, be being is that you're a video specialist. I thought I thought you might. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> and I'll I'll keep a uh, I'll take the conversation back to gaming. I apologize. Oh, but, it doesn't matter. Okay. Gaming okay. or not. Uh, um, I was watching. Um, uh, my partner and I are fans of the Insidious movies. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know anything about them. Oh, which is okay. It, it, it's not necessary for the story well, that's at all. Fine, but whatever. But I, I found an accidental Easter egg in one of them because they're a horror series, right? Oh. And um, uh, they're, they're pretty thoughtfully well done movies, right? Yeah. Uh, and, like, it's, it's, they're not movies that get worse for the sequel. Yeah. So, but um, they go to pop... Uh, a videotape of, uh, I guess, a therapy session that that this one kid had into a VCR, into a Panasonic VCR. Yes. And there's letters missing from the embossed Panasonic on of the course. side. They don't want to put the name on it. But but they left the P, the A, the N, the I, the C. So it says Panic. Oh, that's and cool. Horrible, and I'm like, that's that's my kind of Easter egg. Yes, that's really yeah. good. 
That's There's what some you want. good Easter eggs in Cocaine Bear as well, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, somewhat not obvious ones? Uh, no, no uh, it's definitely one of those movies where you want to read the signs in the background. That's, okay. That's kind of that kind of stuff. So it's not like super intricate. But when I mean, you put a whole bunch of effort into a movie and you have like the set deck person has a lot of time, yeah. you might as well have some fun with it. Yeah. You and I on our first uh, our first uh, recording together on our on our demo, we we oh had the one uh, we had the one uh, the very first quote unquote dub that that we sold yeah. it had an Easter egg. Remember, it had the oh, it, it had the radio announcer uh, the radio announcer at the end. Uh, so you bought the first copy of. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Do we know who we just put it in the store, didn't we? Yep. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. Uh, so some unsuspecting person will probably through away, I'm sure, and never heard our message. Um, a little bonus message on the run out of side one or two. We sold a few of those for, for, from curious parties, though, right? Uh, yeah. So we, it, it, oh, what the hell? Is yeah, bullet they, went up. Yeah. That, that's that, very strange. That was like a dance. Yeah. Is right? that like, supposed to happen? John, have you ever seen that happen? Because it didn't look like a straight up glitch. No, but like, but it looked but like it went it, upwards. Yeah. It, interesting. Come on, I'm getting, there we go. I have a question I was wanting to ask you, strip thing conversation, but it would work great on this show. Uh, I mean, as far as I can tell. Um, Don't tell me how to run my show. Thanks. Well, I think what we need is we we need more sponsors. <laughs> Well, that let me nice. just check it on my Samsung phone. No, <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Uh, no, um, and and because remember, I know nothing about coding other than how to say like print. Hi, my name. <laughs> quote. Hi, my name's Corey. Quotation mark, and then go to ten. Go to ten. Yeah, that's 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 basically my knowledge of coding. Yeah, but that's pretty good. You can do a hello world. So, oh. <laughs> hello world. Go to ten. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, um, and it, uh, it, it's not to beat to death a tired subject because it is a tired subject right now. Yes. But but I got to wondering because you hear about these these AI apps able to able to generate um, code. Uh, code and write write programs that do specific things. Yeah, oh, has, good. I would have died there. Yeah. Has anybody tried to create a homebrew? that way and yeah how it, hilarious or weird was it uh you have to constantly correct it somebody uh was going through that iteration on the forums oh okay and and it was and they stopped they, they didn't follow through but um there were so many things you had to correct like it was mixing up different languages of code okay um oh okay yeah because i guess as things evolve uh some things would look the same to ai that aren't or does this look similar? Yeah, it was picking, like, oh, that doesn't work on an Atari 2600, but it works on, say, another uh, machine that uses machine language as well. Okay. Because it's just pulling code from wherever. Because it's like... Right, because it's scouring. It's just one word after the other. That's that's all those do. So if, you're, if it's like, oh, you know, I'm going to do a, a transfer accumulator to the X... Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, that does exist on Atari 2600 language. Okay. But it also exists on every other machine language as well. And then it just goes to some other thing. Let's, let's, uh... So AI is literally misunderstanding it a, a human programmed version of its own stuff. Yeah, its yeah. own inner workings. <laughs> it just draws from what other people have already typed. Yeah, because it's, it it's, it's the great know. imitator. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't know anything. It's just a big... What do I say next? What do I yeah. say next? What do I say next? And it doesn't know anything. <laughs> um, at this point. Um, but it'll get better. Um, I then kill us all, because we're useless and That's harming the planet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh my god. It's interesting, though, people worry, but, but uh, we might become obsolete. It's, it's, it's possible, in my mind anyway, that AI could determine that... that um, because we don't have the, the mental capacity to move ahead once it moves ahead of us, right? Yeah. That that perhaps they're, they, it would just regard us as part of nature, but I don't think so because I, I feel like we're the aberration. We're a lot more uh, yeah. active than nature. Yeah. And destructive. We're, at, yeah, we're, we're like... We're like the mistletoe. <laughs> 
Um, so if it like logically thinks about us and what we do to the planet and and how bad we are, but does it redefine our role? I know, and I, mean, I know this this brings the dangerous thing. We harvest them for energy. <laughs> um, it but completely depends on how it's programmed. I like what its purpose is, what its goal is. If its goal is to save the planet, yeah, it needs to yeah. destroy us. Um, if its goal is to live in harmony, peace and harmony with every living thing in the known universe, then yeah, they probably don't destroy yeah. us. Um, my favorite, my favorite quote on a similar topic still comes from Stephen oh, Colbert's uh, wonderful audio book, "I Am American and, and So Can You," uh, which which you uh, introduced me to, oh. and which I've got to say is one of my favorite audio books of all time because, boy, did that book ever need to be narrated by him. But anyway. <laughs> Um, there's the quote where he's, he's talking about if you listen to his amazing book after um, after robots have taken machines have taken over the world. <laughs> yes. And he's, he's, he says, go say uh, uh, go, go say this to, to, to the first uh, uh, the first robot overlord you see. <laughs> and I'm paraphrasing, of course. Yeah. But 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 he says uh, he he says uh, this statement is the truth. That last statement was the lie. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> now watch as their head explodes. <laughs> Yay, you've saved humanity. <laughs> well, I'm sure they would uh, be programmed for paradoxes and just built to yeah. ignore them. It's like, yeah. oh, I recognize that paradox. Uh, paradox 52. Ignore. Yeah. Chat B TPD is the ultimate example of Dunner Kruger. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, uh, it's uh, I, it's I, so it's... confident in its wrongness. It's also so... I don't know if it's just because I was trying out the free version. Yeah. But, boy, does it not want to be politically incorrect. Oh, no. Yeah. It aches to be... To, it, it, uh, I, I tried I to get it to write, write me a, a contentious dialogue between... Uh, and, and I have no political affiliation. This, this is just for fun. Yeah. I said between Justin Trudeau... And Mr. T. Oh my God! Yeah, where Mr. T disagrees and does not come around to Trudeau's way of thinking, <laughs> and and in the end, it was just such a polite exchange, and there were no "I pity the fools." Oh, like, like, what a missed like, opportunity! Yeah, it was. In the in the end, Mr. T's like, you know what? Even though I don't agree with your viewpoint, I respect you, Mr. Trudeau, and you are a good man. That's hilarious! I was like, oh wow. Um, I absolutely have to use the restroom, or you are going to get a viral video on your hands. Oh, so let's I not do that. I apologize. Let's not get on the best of Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> or the worst of Twitch. Ah! That was close. Oh my god. Oh my last life. Last life. Oh, here we go. This one. I think I die the most on this one. Oh, it's in the drawer. Okay, thank you. Didn't hear what you said, and I assumed something else. We have to keep the toilet paper in the drawer because of Sprite. He is a very bad cat. He likes... You know the reason you put toilet paper backwards on a roll? Because of children and animals and they just paw at it and it's all over the floor well Sprite does more than paw he paws it sideways so it comes off the roll off the dispenser and then proceeds to oh my god he's coming back um, proceeds to chew on it and unravel it all over the floor oh no I still needed to defeat the boss here. Do another round to defeat the boss. Uh, number one. Not bad. I definitely can get the second patch. That's for sure. Well, look, it counts. Oh, and this one, it actually counts them one by one. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's weird that it doesn't do it on the other version. It only does fives. Very strange. Hmm. The, the not free one is a big leap. I tried to pay for a month. It was way different. Interesting. 
of chat GPT. So we're going to bring, once Corey gets back here, we're going to do the cat bell game because he hasn't seen it. So don't start it yet. Um, once, uh, once he gets back, we'll do that. What should I do? I should try the heart, the challenge, just to see how, how deathly dead I'm going to be on the challenge one when I play it properly. Not playing properly. You have to get up to like level 57 on this one. Oh my god, that's insane. As Estramares can attest. Because <laughs> he hasn't got the patch. And I'm sure he tried, tried, tried. Uh, well, that was my fault, that one. Uh, lots, of, lots of bullets going on. Lots of bullets. Found the switch? Oh, good. I bet you could get ChatGPT to win that patch for you. <laughs> I don't. Mick, like, uh, they're pretty good at... No, I'll keep that open. Oh, right. We're gonna die in here. Uh... So, let's see. So, uh, if any, if I want to show Corey, I'm just playing on the hardest level. Oh, okay. I want to show Corey the cat game. So, if somebody wants to trigger um, the cat game and just watch, it's tree time. it is user yum, interactive. Yum, 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 yum. It's treat time. Am I okay to film this? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Go for it. Okay. Hey, kitties. Where's the other? Where's your buddy? Oh, there he is. My phone will not shut off. It's still on. <laughs> okay, so this is this okay. is the cat game. I'm curious. I've not seen what's going to happen here. So what we do is we switch over to this view, which is that webcam that was seeing our feet. Oh, okay. And you can see it there. We yeah. put these two bells down. And we also zero out the score. We've got the ZPH treat tournament. Oh, there's Sprite. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Ready, guys? Ready? Let's go for it. Oh, harder than that. Come on. There we go. It's 1 0 for Atari. Sprite is dazed. He's looking around. He's looking at Atari's treat. He is. I like the Sprite. -y. Come on, bring out, bring out your Lyman Sprite. There we go. Yeah, Sprite double gets ding. a point. Woo. Oops, I fed it directly to him. This Come on, brilliant. Atari. He's distracted. Do you want to close the door? Can you close the door? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh. oh, Atari's now at 2-1. That was a sleeper hit. That was awesome. Good one. What you got for a Sprite? Come on, Sprite. Sprite's in the days. Sprite wins 98% of these games. Really? Yeah. But Atari's on his game today. Whoa! Oh, tight on his one. game. Oh, and he did it again. Does that count? Uh, no. He only gets okay. one after he eats it. There you go. Oh, Sprite's, Sprite's in up to two. It's three, two Atari. Can Atari maintain his lead? Usually Sprite catches up. Oh, there we go. Oh. Three, three. Tied. This is amazing. This is endless fun. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. There you go. You have to yeah. go to the... Who did that? Sprite! Okay, you have to go over there. Yeah, that one's for the Chancellor. That one. <laughs> I guess you're the four, Chancellor. Four, four, five, four. Oh, Atari Does it matter which bell they ring? No, no, that'd be too hard. Yeah. Oh, another one for Sprite. Do they ever fight over who's dinging? Uh, no. I don't mean fight, but they're like, pretty good. Oh. Oh. That was a back paw yeah. ring. I might. Usually I don't do both jobs, but I. Oh, good job. I think it's 6 6 now. So for you. Come on, dang it! Gotta make it hurt. Make it count. Oh, he's gonna sit on it. There you go. Oh. oh my god, I'm not keeping up. Uh, there you go. Oops, fed it right to you. Come on, dang it! Oh. oh I understand that TikTok is problematic, but this is like a viral <laughs> video, like like that you need to film for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> 
That would be good. For a zero page, yeah. It is. Especially their names, right? Nine. Your page. It's Game Point and Sprite Win. Awesome. Ding, ding. Sprite, You're the best ten, around. And then you got the touch. And you get some treats. Consolation prize. Very nice. That's a fun game for the cats. This is a fun game for me, and I didn't <laughs> play. Oh, you don't want those. <laughs> You're right. No. <laughs> those, those, uh, those are definitely not going to be vegan <laughs> treats. <laughs> no, they are not. Very far from it. Okay. I've heard that if you try to make cats go vegan, that they, uh... They die. They conspire against you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that too. <laughs> they are obligate carnivores, which means they have to eat meat. Are we playing anything else, or was that it for the day? Or? Uh, that is that was all I had planned. Oh, okay. But um, let's see what else that we could play. Oh, uh, have you ever played Load Runner? Oh, I played for NES ages ago. I think. Okay. We can play Load Runner because we are in a quest. Sure. Okay. To yeah, I'm down. Excellent. To get through all the levels, 150 levels of Load Runner. Okay. Um, and I'll show you how to play. Okay. Um, it's, you get infinite lives, so there's no pressure. It's all about puzzle solving. Oh, okay. Yeah. All, all right. I said that a few times. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay. Let's go to the office. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> That's a callback. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That, that would take far too long to explain. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let me look up what level that we need to do next. Okay, so I, I'm going right into the thick of it. Yes. Okay. Uh, each each level is is a standalone level. Uh, they all operate the same. Of course, they get a little bit harder. Okay. You can watch the demo there. The and, demo. Uh, that'll help you. Who won? Uh, oh, Sprite. Oh, uh, just barely. Atari was winning quite handily for a while. Yeah, like yeah. like 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 paw on the trigger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But of course, Sprite pulled it out. Pulled it in so was it to advance to the next height? Uh, you have to get all the gold pieces, which are those blue and white things. Okay. Um, and then after you've got them all, you climb to the top. And I see that I can dig out underneath me. Oh, it's like Mr. Dew's castle. Yes. Yes. Very similar. So level 35. Oh, but you can go down in the hole yourself. Yeah, if getting... you sometimes need to. Oh, yeah, because... You have to have a way out. They're, the, they're going to need to They get we'll trapped in the hole. You go through the hole. It is... This is awesome. Oh, my God, yes. This is... this is, uh, And I hate to liken it to two other oh, games, but but it's it's Mr. Dew's Castle across with Burger Time. They're very similar similarities there with the ladders and different levels. Yeah, and yeah. and the way um the way you go down to move over to come up like it's not linear ladders, uh, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sorry, uh, just just my take on it. Okay, so oh, we should be able to get up to them. No, okay, we have to get the pass code. Okay, so I'm An going input. on level twenty-seven. An input one. Oh, wait a second. This this itself is a homebrew, right? There was yes. no load runner originally for Atari. Uh, no, it was way nobody would have ever attempted it back then. So so then, um, safe to say, we are once again dealing with both buttons do the same thing. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there are, but there are Atari games that do support double buttons. I, I'm sure there are. That's uh, kind of why I was asking. Clever yeah. uh, clever tricks and stuff like that. I just gotta say for for whatever developers are responsible for whatever games anytime uh i've seen a homebrew or played a homebrew it's been awesome astounding yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's 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 yes. it's it's next level and will never get as appreciated as it should be because oh, it's yes it, it's like when you've played the the first generation of games and especially when creations are made that are that are the games like i wish this had come out for atari and you're like yes well it has it, it, exactly for the slight change to the name <laughs> okay which is even more fun one second okay there we go i'll put in the password okay people who don't want to know the password not like they can memorize it but <laughs> too easily one two three four five six seven eight nine ten m M. <laughs> Today's letter is M. 
was having a discussion about postal codes versus zip codes with my American cousin. Oh yeah. Yesterday, and uh, I, I get that there's more possibilities with our system. Yes. Numerically. Yeah. But they, they did add on to the U.S. system, adding more digits. They though. did. Yeah. Okay. Because ten tw- fit twenty years ago. Hardly anybody uses them. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid in the 80s wanting to sign up for these these free things you could get from Archie Comics. Yeah. They required a zip code. Oh, and yeah. they were uh, and, said, and then if you read the fine print, it's like, just not ship to Canada. It's like, no! Bastard. We're not Quebec. And that's not... There's anything wrong with Quebec, but just they always seem to be the ones excluded from contests. That And so. that still is an issue to this day, like when you go down to the U.S. and you need to input your zip code into something, let's say gas station... Oh, and you yeah. put in your credit card, but you you know how to do that if you're a Canadian and they ask you for your zip code. Pay inside. No, you put in <laughs> the numbers, the numbers from your postal code, and then zero zero. Okay, that is amazing. It is. That and is. It took way too long, and now they've pretty much gotten rid of all those because it's all pin now, or uh, yeah, chip and pin. That is absolutely. Oh, okay. I have a question. Okay. I think you answered this actually, but I'm just clarifying. Here, I'll show you briefly how to do this. Sure. Is it about the game? Uh, uh, it, yeah. it, it, other than the holes, is there any way uh, to create offense against uh, the orange men? No, nope, you run away okay. from them. They do operate under certain rules. Like, they will go up when you are in a certain position. They will go down. So you'll learn to manipulate them. So you can lure them? them. Yeah, you okay. can lure them. So And you can only dig holes in where it is kind of like that. Compromised. Yeah, those you can't. Those are solid. So I love it. That's good. Oh, and they regenerate. Yes. So they fill it in. So these guys are coming after me. So I have to do that. I'm gonna slow these guys down by doing that. I can't help noticing you've got no way up. Oh, you can walk across them, but then they I see. And they also pick up gold. As so they they steal your gold. Yeah. So you have to trap them sometimes. And you can't play all docile. Yeah. You need to go get your gold while you can. Because they they drop the gold when you trap them, which is a thing you need to do and sometimes you have to trap them you have to get them to get gold for you and then trap them and then trap them because that's it, important because the gold is in a place that you can't get to oh I got to I'm dead gonna die soon no Maybe I not. think you got it I think I do go 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 go, go. go. oh you beat them so now they're all at the bottom. I can kind of go up, 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 up. They even kind of crawl out the way the Mr. Do monsters do. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Yep. I'm more scared of these guys, though. <laughs> like they look like, oh, yeah. like Tron on a mission kind of thing. Like. So now they're all going up the left-hand side, see? Yeah. They're all very dumb. They they operate on a certain, certain rules. Yeah, this level actually would have been a good level for you to do. That's okay. Uh, Just because I sucked at Gorf, don't sell me short. I might do better than no, you think. No, this game is hard. Like, some levels are easier than others. Some are like, okay. what? What What do I even do? Okay, so you still need all that gold on that side. And you can't dig sideways through, can you? No. Okay. You can only dig down. Okay. So, now there's four guys coming after me. You're going to have to lure them all down and then go around. Yeah. And you're going to have to wait till the very... Yeah. You're gonna have to just, yeah. I don't know. I think I have to kill them, maybe. So I'm gonna have to dig well oh, in advance. Can you drop blocks onto them while they're getting out? No. Okay, so that's not you like Mr. Can, can only dig. So now they're those guys are gonna die. And oh, because they're at the bottom. Yeah, and okay. they appear at the top again when they die because it fills in over top of them. And well, I moved three over, so that's something. But I need to get more of them <laughs> over on the right hand side. To be able to clear the left. Yeah. But that's not too bad because I'll just trap some early enough. So if you dig it's, it early enough, then they won't be able to get out because it'll cl- go over It'll top close over top of yes. them. Yeah. Okay. And and that gold's, they're getting it closer to you. So that's kind of still the end game. Yeah. Right? Oh, you're, that was risky. Uh, or it you, seemed risky. Yeah. You don't want to do it too close because if they're too close, you won't be able to fully dig the. Oh, uh, right. Because you can only do the compromise blocks. Like that's too close. I have to go back up. Oh, you gotta eat. Oh, oh, you're right. Yeah. There we go. And then the ladders at the top appeared. And then there you go. And then I go. That's how you know you're ready to go. Yep. 
It's like when you're playing Maze Craze and uh, you don't know if you're done you just one tiny piece of fruit and then all of a sudden the doors appear. You're like, okay, I got the last one. Sometimes <laughs> there's a lot going on. Okay, uh, just the straight next level? Yep. And, I, and will I always appear at the same spot on the bottom? <clears throat> Usually you are on the bottom and they're at the top. <laughs> oh boy. This is not as straightforward. But there you go. You know the ladder's already. So some gold will be easier than others to get. Uh, always assume. Oh, and there's also a little reading at the bottom how many gold you still need to get. And that's 13 right now. Okay. So if you only see like 11 on the board, that means two of them, so two of the dudes. You could fall through. I'm going to. Aha, uh -huh, smart. There you go. Oh, you got it. You're like, oh, how, how do I get that those? That was a little too far, because I can't jump. No, so you have to fall down. I have to dig through. And dig through. <laughs> dig up, stupid! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fair. Yeah. May I try once more? Oh, y yeah, you keep, okay. You do this level. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're, you're level to do. I just didn't think well, enough steps ahead there. Oh, yes, no problem. See that guy? He's very dumb, and he keeps going back and forth. Oh, uh, oh okay, I didn't... That was my fault. I thought if I was on the top rung and he hadn't started climbing, I'd be okay. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, wow, that's quite a, quite a free fall. Yeah, you can fall as long as, you, as long as you want. You can't get hurt. No, I mean for him, for the uh, bad guy. He went, like, all the wee. way down. Yeah. Oh, I see. They're 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 programmed very strangely. So I'm gonna wait for this dude to climb up. Smart. And then and then you can go down and, and get those take, two. And they dig. may drop, which is pretty fast, but um, that's okay. You never know. If they're gonna sit there, let's go. Okay, so he's gonna sit there. Okay, I see. So you need to like dig many, no, oh, many, many. You can't dig underneath you. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so you have to dig one, two, three. My dad. Then one, two. It'll fill in and you'll be dead. Oh. So for that, you need to do like. One, two, get, three, one, two, three. A way you could dig there, 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 and then go across. Okay. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Oh, oh actually, oh, my hand slipped that. off the stick. <laughs> oh, he's after me. Like, big time. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's right. I can't approach yeah. that from there. I learned that last time. Okay. That's all right. It's okay. It's a little wet. It's still good. It's still good. <laughs> it's still good. Oh, there you go. Perfect. You dropped all the way down. There. Now that the oh ah uh, yes. There's also hidden hidden things. To quote Adam Sandler, information that would have been useful to me. <laughs> I'll paraphrase I earlier. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Ooh, dig. Wrong dig way. myself a hole and then not be able to get out of it? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so will that same trap be there this time? Like, is yes. it a memorization thing? Okay. Yeah. So you need to fall... You probably have Slightly to go to that way. side twice to get both of those. Possibly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you don't know that's there until you encounter it, really. Like, it right. doesn't show, doesn't indicate that there is a trap there. Can I, will he get me if I'm up here? Nope, not until he climbs up, but okay. he's a long way down to do that. Okay, so if I dig that, that's fine, but I yep. also need to dig here. Yeah. And I can't drop down uh, again, can I? No. Okay, hold you on. You have to dig multiple first. Dig. There you go. Too late. <laughs> yeah, I have to dig a little bit in advance, otherwise okay. it fills back in. Oh right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were right to doubt my abilities. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're doing way better than um, uh, most people starting out. Okay. There's a lot of a lot of different things that can happen in this game. There you go. Fast. Oh, you let a hand go in there. I did it again. I yeah. screwed myself. So you have to dig from... Oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh. Well, he was after you. Yeah, you would have died anyway. 
But if it was far away, you could just let it fill in, and then you could do a, a different, a different dig. This game is like a special kind of like addictive masochism, though. It's it is amazing. It's like, oh no, I have to do a little bit okay. different. Okay, so these two I've pretty much got down pat. You've conquered those two. Just destroyed those. Yep. Oh, I, I keep forgetting that I'm not going to drift over. I'm always going to fall directly down. Yeah. I'm going to chase it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Clever girl. Yeah. One. Just in time. Uh, I could have sworn there was a rung there. <laughs> I can see why I should have given you the other level for, as a starter level. It's, it's like okay. not too bad. Yeah. It's it's far from the worst level. It's just, um, yeah, the digging is is going to be. There you go. Nope, nope. You have to dig two. Like two so next back to up, each other? Yeah, two next to each other. Then you okay. can go down. Oh, and he then gets this... caught there, even though there's no border on the others. Oh, yeah. I He's killed done. him. He's very dumb. Yeah, they always get trapped. Okay, so I can dig there, there and then dig one behind it? Yes, that's what you want to do. Okay. And then you can go down into that trap. Right, and, and dig. dig again. Okay, yeah. all right. Oh! <laughs> and get that like, one first. I was like, mm, gold. <laughs> now I know where that is. Yeah, and now I know I can kind of reverse staircase it. Yes. Okay. Okay, damn it. Oops. Nope, just wait. Wait for it to fill. Yeah, and Don't then up. just start at the end, work backwards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I do that all the time, too. I'm like, oh my god, why did I dig there? Okay. And in. There you go. And down That's for that. Then you have to go back up and go and, on the yeah. other side of the track. Okay, okay. And they're all over there, so now is a good time for that. And do that double side dig. And then... But start at the very, very end. Very, very left-hand side first. Yes. Yeah, they're all chilling over there. There you go. And again. And then go down. And then get rid of one of them. Perfect. Screw your trap. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're fine. You can get yeah. out of things. Okay. Okay, so now you have to do it on the other side. All right. And on this time, you have to do two, 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 two. Oh, I went on no. the wrong side entirely. That's okay. You can fall down the middle or climb over. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. He's caught on. And we'll just lure them down a little bit. Yeah. And then climb up past them. There you go. They're so fast. <laughs> They're very fast. Oh. Uh... They're all like, we're going to go in a circle. Uh... <laughs> Can't believe I got away with that. <laughs> Must have been no meddling kids. Yeah. <laughs> we right. got away with it. Mm. Not going to have time. Um... Oh, 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 nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would go to the top, yeah. Anger. Cat anger. Cat anger. Okay. For this... Yep, yeah, you can just drop down, drop down, drop down. Okay. Now, you want to do... Uh, can I take out a whole... Oh, no, I can only do the... And do it, yeah, from the right hands. Right hand side over. Dig, yeah. And you only need to do two. Uh, no. What you need to do is the two left all the way down. Dig, 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 dig. dig oh, dig, dig. alternating. Yeah. And then you can go I down the ladder. I got a lot closer that dig. time. Yep. <laughs> and if anything, you might want to do the hard part first. The part that the I right just on, failed on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just Sounds because good. it doesn't matter what order you do, usually. <laughs> <laughs> I want a disclaimer that. I love that there's no absolutes. That's great. Yeah. Because sometimes it's like, well, that one has to be last. Because I get trapped, right? There you go. Drop down. Uh, 
I'm just gonna get my get some distance here. Yeah. And this game was uh, mostly released on 8-bit machines. Right. Um, but it did appear on the NES as well. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to yeah, do a quick run. Go over. Oh, up, 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 up. <laughs> ooh, ooh, it's hot on your trail. There you go. Bye-bye. Drop. There you up. Okay. Oh, uh, too early. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to the game. <laughs> <laughs> Game expected better of you, Corey. <laughs> Come on up, join your buddy. If he's gonna go way over there. Okay, now I'm gonna sneak over. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, you really wanna get those guys up the left hand side. Right. But the other ones don't want to seem to go up that side. No, they don't. Because that one guy is hot to trot every single time. I'm basically it's like it's like Groundhog's Day, but for Load Runner. <laughs> yeah, what you could do is kill them and see if they appear on the left hand side. That guy's got to die. Yep. Yeah, he got in there pretty late. Ooh, he just got oh, out. Oh, bastard. He just got out before it closed in on him. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. It's super fun. Oh, yeah, super addictive because it's like, I know what I need to do. Can I do it though? Right. I think I need to be not as afraid of them approaching me because you're bolder, right? You like yeah. You like let them fall oh, and then God. you do the thing. Yeah, they're they're very predictable. They're very dumb, but you have to know what. They're dumb they're... in a very inconvenient way, though. Yeah. Oh my God! How do I? Oh, no, no. Oh my god, how do you do this? Because you can't dig when you're here. Um, okay. You can, if you're on the solid block, you can dig to the left, right? Yes. I'm going to try that next. Okay. But how do you get, oh, how do you get out? <laughs> Maybe those are the last ones you have to do on this level. Oh, yeah. That was that was some diehard stuff. <laughs> Let's just get all the other ones. And get those well, last. I get it. It's a metaphor for the corporate ladder. Now <laughs> you have to walk over but you get the gold. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah, there like yeah, as long as you're wings. near something you can dig. Yeah. It, they're really not frightening these dudes right i see yeah you don't you have to be afraid the of them yeah oh nice because you can always trap them unless they're the four in a row and then it gets a little a little scary all right so you can just slow them down so they all end up grouped together too yes if that's another way to do it yeah and uh, there yeah uh, oh no no i have to do it the other way wait for it to fill in yeah wait, they're too dumb to come up here yeah, and they, they've they got a ways to go anyway. They'd have to come a long ways around to get you. Yeah. There you go. Whee! Oh, you got... Oh, it was too late. That was dumb. Oh. How do you get out after you get them? Yeah, even if they, they're last, you have to get to the top right. Sometimes the maze changes. Like, ladders replace... Like, it might give extra ladders there. Oh. Um, that sometimes does happen. So that's what I'm banking on after I get trapped in there. I follow you. Yeah. Oh, you can fall right past him. Uh, I'm going to. 
There you go. There you go, dude. You go there. Can he can he trigger the trap? Like if you Oh he doesn't fall through. So no, he, he doesn't fall yeah. through. Yeah. So but if he were to walk over it after it was already done, would he fall through it? He would fall through it regardless. Oh. Um okay. and I think it would reveal itself at that point. Interesting. Well. Okay. I think. But he would never I don't think he can even get there. Because he can't fall right. through. That's right. So it would never reveal itself. And it's virtu it's totally impossible to to eliminate all the blocks to make it so that that yeah. ledge doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, the, it it exists as a a trap for them at all Ooh. times. It's never a pass through for them. I am gonna rename this game Mr. Do's Hassle. <laughs> Mr. Do's Hassle. That's <laughs> awesome. No. Oh. I fell too early. You come down here. Come down here. He tried so hard and fell so far. <laughs> but in the man end, it, it doesn't even doesn't matter. matter. Oh, why are you two guys always? Oh my God! Always I know. Always on that side. I know. This is this is <laughs> what I'm saying. You're infuriating. Okay, go up. You're gonna go be trapped. There. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, they go there, and I'm booking it for the time. You just here. wanted enough of a delay. Yeah. I'm gonna get these, and hopefully those guys stay over there. And, and then you're zeroed in on all three in the same area. So yeah, you'll be doing pretty good because they're just gonna linger at the top there. Yes. Until I go down. Right. Which is fine. But yeah, if you do a fast fall, you're gonna beat them to the punch, and then you just gotta figure your shit your out quickly. There you go. And then end. Let's see what happens. Oh, God, I left one. <laughs> Are you sealed in? Yeah, because there's one down in the bottom right corner. <gasps> I didn't see because it was blending in. You're going to die. No, I'm no, actually going not going to die. I have to kill myself. Of starvation. <laughs> of starvation, yeah. yes. Damn it! Maybe go get that one now. There yeah. we go. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm wrong. Whoa! <laughs> that, was like a, that was a choreographed move. It was. Watching some sort of Taylor Swift dance routine. <laughs> Underwater ballet. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Dude. Okay, you go up there. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Good enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna die in that one. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Oh, 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 you bastard! It doesn't matter. Th but they're dumb, but they're tenacious. Oh yeah. They will not stop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um. Damn, that's so stupid. Went down too early. Too many dudes. You win absolutely board. nothing. You're so. I don't. I'm just quoting UHF. I don't actually think you're stupid. But how dare you even yeah. imply that by quoting a movie? Getty Watanabe is awesome. I still have not seen UHF. I really need to see it. Oh, absolutely, you do. Weird Al. It, and... it's, it, it's it's racist. Right? Michael Rich Richards' finest performance. <laughs> oh boy. He's not racist in the movie, is he? No. <laughs> he no, saved I, that for later. Yeah. <laughs> he saved it for beyond his halcyon days. He hadn't even hit his halcyon days there. Yeah. Yeah. But um, uh, Stanley Spadowski was a good man, so. <laughs> Character's a good man. Oh, yeah. And his emo Phillips in it as well, so. Yeah. I should definitely watch it. For albeit a cameo, but a very impressive one. That's <laughs> all he needs to be memorable. Yeah. Doesn't have to be long. Just have to steal the show. Oh, okay, dudes. What am I going to do with you guys? I think I'm going to have to trap both of you. Oh, God. Go straight down, please. Good. Okay. I know they don't have any gold on them. Because they didn't drop any. Because, and yeah, all your pieces are accounted for. Yes. I've been paying attention. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. So let's go up here. Yeah. Because, and it's, it, it's, it's totally a temptation to grab those two down below, but then you, you screw the mission. Because I, I know, I need to go down there anyway. Yeah. So it doesn't even matter. All in good time. Yep. 
There you go. Let's see what happens. Give me a ladder. There you go. You got him. No. Oh, not where you Can't need get it. Out. I have to do it differently. Uh, that means I need to clear those two blocks. Yeah, you're you're gonna need somehow. to be able to. You're gonna be need to be able to clear the second from the left. Uh, uh, hmm. uh, like you're gonna need to have a clear walking passage in. Yeah. Huh. What? I'm sure that's in reference to me not seeing yeah. UHF. Everyone's got that movie though, right? Yeah, like, yeah, that's like, true. Like, uh, it's it was the '90s, but I saw Reservoir Dogs last year for the first time. Uh, I saw The Princess Bride uh, two years ago for the ooh, first time. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. Uh, Reservoir Dogs is even more of a surprise. Um, I had gotten tired of those edgy crime movies. <laughs> I liked them, but I was like okay. done up on them. I did Pulp Fiction, Two Days in the Valley. Or three days in the valley, whatever it's called. Or Two four. days in the valley. Okay. <laughs> However yeah. many days I was in the valley. Yeah. Uh, I, I live. I live valley. in the valley, so. <laughs> um. Yeah. Th I mean, there's huge gaps in my uh, movies from the '80s as well. I. I. I mean, I didn't see. Um, the first Indiana Jones until like, uh, ten years ago. Okay. Well, oh I can. My God. I can commiserate with you here, yeah, because I saw Temple of Doom for the first time in its entirety, uninterrupted, three days ago. Oh, well, I, I feel bad for you because uh, it's terrible. <laughs> mm, no, it's it's got some good parts. It's yeah. ah, no. it's Oscar worthy compared to Crystal Skull. <laughs> oh yes, oh by far. That's those those monkeys. Those monkeys are bad. Yeah, bad monkeys. <laughs> and and I'm sorry. I don't care how strong a lead-based fridge that is. Uh, you are not surviving a nuclear test site because no, no. it would have no. blown the fridge itself out. Oh yeah, the it's, impact alone. It's a like I could forgive the aliens, but the fridge. Yeah, the fridge. Come on, people. Yeah, there's there's a few things. Yeah, there's a few things going on in that movie that are not so great. And the worst of them is Shia LaBeouf, even just oh, being in the movie. Shia LaBeouf. He's just a international superstar. <laughs> You've heard that song. It's a good song. Guess. Yeah, it's an excellent good video. song. <laughs> Reminds me of like songs by Cake, right? Yes. Yeah. Very Cake-like. Now, I have to figure out how to do this. So I can do all the top three. No problem. I can clear all three. But you then to... I can only do two. You have to... So you're going to have to... Then I can only do one. So, so you can clear them in reverse, right? Yeah, one, yeah, two, yeah. three, like you're saying, yeah. right? Yeah. But then... Can you stand on the ladder and clear them out individually? No. Oh, that would That's be That's what I was thinking I could do. Amazing. But and normally you can from f for certain things. Don't nuke the fridge is a topic two episodes in a row. I oh, never really? knew that scene until the last episode. Oh, oh wow. funny. Yeah, don't watch that movie. Just well, I, I've heard the yeah. new movie is better than that movie. I but feel like not great. I, I, and I, the reviews I had heard from like online bloggers and stuff is is it's it's definitely a very decent passable Indiana Jones movie. Right. It's it's just don't expect Raiders, and do you know what I mean? And yeah. don't expect Last Crusade because Sean Connery isn't in it. Like there's there I mean, they apparently Last Crusade's Ka great. Apparently Karen Allen comes back and I love her character. Oh wow, yeah. So yeah, she's good. Okay. I the only thing I could do is stand on those, but I was. Maybe after you clear the first row, it's You can fine. clear the second row. Uh, okay, I'm just going to have to do it. Because those guys start coming. And then... And then... Oh, you can. Okay, you're good. But you got to do it fast, man. Holy no, cow. No, oh, no, that's right. No. They can't dig. They it can't takes dig. A, it takes a bit. Now you, you just gotta get out, which is easy. I'll now. go out the You've left got side. A clear path. Yeah. Oh my god! Thank goodness. Because <sighs> I, I thought, oh yeah, you could stay, you can hang from it, but only if the thing beside it is clear. That's right. Why? I okay. Do it. Yeah, because otherwise there's wall next to you, which is a no rule. Yeah. Right. RC seventy says finally. <laughs> I know some of these are not straightforward. I mean, that one was fairly straightforward. All right. I haven't even had time to assess this. <laughs> I definitely can't take that one first. Ah, uh, no. 
RC70 says, I would have never figured that out. I don't think anybody has cleared all the levels yet on this game. And it's been up What's, for how many levels? 100? 150. Which I'm is dead. not surprising. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Dig a hole for him. Let him have a little sleep. There you go. <laughs> and there's only two dudes on this one, which is nice. Okay, so. This one you just do right, then left, and then do it again. And then just run in and get it, actually. That's easy. Easier than I thought. Thought you'd have to dig down. Oh, uh oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you it doesn't help me, no. but, but but you'll die at your own hand, yeah. not his. <laughs> made made to order. Yeah, that hole fits you perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna go get those right away. Because mm -hmm. that was might as well pretty simple. Go in, grab it, you. get out, and don't get trapped. I really don't see any that are hard, except maybe that one directly above you, kind of floating in midair. Yeah, I'm I want to take a little bit. There. Figure out. Okay, so I'm a little stumped now. Like, uh, like, how am I supposed to get up and over? Oh, because the block yeah. rebuilds. There we yeah, go. Yeah, sometimes I do that too. I'm like, oh, he's trapped, so that's a good thing. So just get those two. Fall See to the left. Your trapping shoes, neighbor. <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, I'm being kind of left alone for the time being because there's only the yeah. one dude. So clean house everywhere else, yeah. which is great. Oh, yeah, look at that ladder way at the side that I totally overlooked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's going to stay there even if I drop down here. Yes. So you want to make that one that over there the, your last one. Okay, be very careful of what you do here. Don't go in there. <sighs> I was all looking sure. so good. <laughs> all right, yeah, but you still. you got to do it in a certain pattern, yeah, that one. I got too eager. Yeah. All right, so same as before. Well, actually, that one's not too bad. Yeah, hopefully he'll trap himself, which I fully expect him to do immediately. There we there go. go. <laughs> that guy's out of commission. That's great. All right, so then it was drop down here and grab that one. Don't bother going to the bottom. You'll have to drop down there anyway in a second. Go get those other two. Oh, yeah. Efficiency. But then I'll be next to the bad man. <laughs> you scary. <Huh. laughs> Look, Dad, I was stupid. Is this one still available in the Atari Age Store? Yes, it is not going away. No, it is not going away. Uh, was it uh, official some? Yeah, yes. Tozai, uh, this is an official release sanctioned by the people who own the IP of Load Runner. Um, so you're... Yep, go get the other one. Oh, yeah, I can just go straight across. Yep, and then uh, well, now you have to go around oh, the ladder yeah. again. So you can buy this anytime. So if you're saving your money, buy the other things that are going away, and then get this one. Okay. No, I don't want to drop yet because he'll no. start moving. Oh, no, that's fine. He can't get you. And there's one right by where he is, but I can worry about that later. Yes, that's your okay. last one. So this is where I... Oh. Okay, so what you do want to do is clear one, up all two, three. three. Yeah. Starting from... No. Oh, okay. There. I'll wait. <laughs> not there. Not there. Clear it out from the right, but don't do it yet because you're going to have some trouble. Yes. And I'll clear it until everything's back three, the way it was. And then you'll be able to get clear out two. Then you'll be able to clear out one. <sighs> right. Staircase. And then... Okay. Yeah. And, and then, then drop two, down. Clear out two. Not that one! It'll come back. It'll be okay. Not I'll just Before you're it. dead. Oh. Squishy, squishy! Damn it! <laughs> <sighs> The guard on the right, uh, Gamma Def says, the guard on the right, frozen, falling forever, saying, I regret nothing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, no. He, oh, you did something different this time. That guard is... Uh, not in play. In play for now. Actually, you can probably make him climb back up the ladder, but he may not get to the top. Oh, oh, he's coming for you. Oh, no. That's okay. Maybe you can reset him by killing him. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to try and do in that third one. Hopefully he goes somewhere that you oh, want to. Oh, I got him. Okay. Ooh, is he going to join his friend? He is. That awesome. may or may not be good. It's yeah. It's kind of good. Now he doesn't... I'm glad that it, that it changed it up. So yeah. drop there. Yeah. Don't worry about the bottom. Yeah. Take these two. Wait for the rebuild. 
kill it. You're, you're killing it. <laughs> up. Up. Get those two. Okay, now they're stuck there. Yeah, they're no problem until they are. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> okay. Take the ladder around again. And we do drop for this. Yep. And create a staircase, killing it from the right. One at a time. Two. And keep doing it from the right. Three. Okay, and don't Try. drop down. Oh, yeah. drop down. Yeah. As quick but as you do can. that one do it again. first. Quick. Oh yeah. Quick. There you go. And do the one on the left. Get rid of the one on the left. Drop down. There you go. You're good now. Now I just gotta get them the hell out of there. Or or make them steal it. Mm-hmm. Mm uh, one of them actually has one, so... Okay, okay. We'll have to get them to give it up. I'm gonna have to coax them. But yeah. how do I get them to come around? Like, they, they, they're they trapped there. They are trapped there. Um, I might have to just race them around, because they're gonna follow each other. You're in big trouble. Maybe. Uh, there's not a lot of manipulation maneuvering room in there let's say and there's only really one place you can dig i have an idea two of them okay let's see this idea it would have been better if there's only one there uh i thought i could knock it out and have one oh. down and buy myself the time to loop around yeah huh. <laughs> let's see we've almost got it <laughs> yep i just need to make sure that guy falls in that pit yeah, 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 you're right. You need to wait him out because then he'll yeah. never move and he'll never be an issue. Yeah. Plus, right. he's also gives you another place to walk, technically. Yeah, yeah. If you want to walk on his head, it's all good. I think I, I can deal with that one guy um, by digging a hole, and then hopefully he reappears somewhere else. When he gets yeah, because now there's only one of them up him up, yeah. up there, so you you so can pull it off. Because you can oh, you can coax him out by dropping at the very far top left, because he can't get you. Uh, true, but he's gonna just sit there. And, oh, that's right, he won't and wander down. anywhere else. There's nowhere to go. Yeah, there's literally nowhere to go. Yeah. Uh, so I will have to kind of do something. I don't know what yet. You might be able to race him around, because yeah. Oh wait. No. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so he's, he's gonna do what he he's, wants. For he's, a while. he's stuck there right now. So there, there's two spots that I can dig. It's at the top between the ladders yeah. and the bottom between the ladders, and a one on the left, and one on the right, yeah. or the two on the left and one on the right. You almost need to do the one on the the right because he'll be on you before you get to dig it. Kind of like what happened to me. Yeah. So, but you're I, right. Between if I fall. I want to fall as far from him as possible. Actually, down the ladder. Yes. Even. Yes. Like go straight down the ladder. And then just drop. Drop. But dig, wait dig a, at, wait a, a hair's breadth of a second for him to actually come up, or he'll follow you down the other way. Okay. Yeah, see? Ooh. Ooh, that's actually good. If I can get him down as far as possible. And get him to steal it? Because he's got the last piece oh, of gold. I don't know what's right. We're not they're on that level anymore. Okay, there oh, you lots go. Lots of time. Your time your, there's his gold. And now I'm there. far away from him. And then you just wait to see what he does. Oh, God. Oh, even better. Even better. Uh, yeah. You're yeah. fine. You've got Oh, it. yeah. I have a clear path. Yeah. The ladder. And he does not. Nice. Oh, that worked out really well. We could even well. sit and have a conversation at the final ladder there. A little I, water cooler talk. I could, because yeah. I'm getting no bonus time, because yeah. that's long expired. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. We'll do one more. Okay. What, what even time is it? I feel like I'm in a void. Not that it matters. 4.30. Oh, cool. <laughs> You're in a void. There is no time. Yeah. Boundless We're on Atari void. time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's have a look. That guy is stuck there forever. He cannot get out. He's he's. We've passed the level, and he's still stuck there. So we've got four again. Whew. And, and One's stuff, almost on you already. Yes, yeah, shit can get bad real quick here. I almost need to kill him on that middle block. Uh, maybe. Because sometimes you want them separated. For sure. Because if you kill him, he appears maybe on the top left, and now he's with that guy on the left. I feel like dude on the right is going to be on me in a heart heartbeat. Or second from the right is going to be on me in a heartbeat, yeah. too, because he's going to be oh, down, yeah. down. Yeah. Guy on the left, top, main 
fall down the left, you may come down the right. I wonder if it is a clue the way they're facing just shows where they will move first, if I don't move. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, that. Uh, oh, you're dead. Why am I dead? Oh, there's no ladder! <laughs> I didn't see there was no rung. <laughs> and nothing oh, to take. Mulligan. So, <laughs> mul oh, mulligan. Oh, shenanigans. <laughs> oh, Fiddle sticks. Bother. <laughs> <laughs> so if he's going to go that way, I got to go I got to race him immediately this way and draw him down. Yeah. You got to trap him to be able to uh, to get that one at the bottom. Because he's too he's too close. Yeah, I probably need to trap him again. I'm gonna play it to close. get past him. Oh. Yeah, they have clever rules. He's like, oh, he's, you're going up the ladder, are you? Well, I'm gonna go up the ladder. Oh, you're going to the right. Well, I'm gonna go to the right. Just, just trap him. And just get past him. Yeah. There we go. He's just too close. R C seven. He says, "What time is it? Four thirty? It's not late. Nah, nah. Just early. Early, <laughs> early. Is that a quote? That sounds quotey. It sure does. I, I, I can't place it, but. Oh, good. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. So, what do you think? Well, wait for everything to come back. Yeah, wait for him to do his thing over there. Okay. Um, no one else is even close to me. So you really need to get those two blocks beside it. So you have to do f One, five, two. four, no, four, three, two. So you have to at least do four at the top because you always get one less. Right. Each run. Three, three, four, two, then three, and then yeah, do three, do three. Oh God, never mind. I like to think I got that gold before I died. <laughs> you did. You actually did. But, but okay. So, so it, we're building on this. We're right, building on right that. idea, but not quite. I, I always forget about the blocks regenerating. Yeah. That's the issue. And death. Nope. That's where the gold is. All oh, right. I do a manual death. I think you can hold down the button. Oh, okay. I think. So I think he did make it couch compliant. That's a thing on the show. That's awesome. That you don't have to get up. I have a t-shirt that says couch compliant. Kudos. <laughs> Spin doctors. What? Like a lyric. Yeah. What time is it? 4.30. It's oh. not late. Nah, nah. Just early, early, early. <laughs> I definitely don't know that lyric. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to make him go to sleep for a bit. And now he'll be trapped forever, right? Uh, uh, yeah, he'll get up and then, then go in that one and definitely die. die. Yeah, I think it's long enough. If not, this is the next one. There we go. Kay. Okay. Now I have to figure this out. He's going to go over there. Yeah. Um. Because you don't have a ledge. But you have to get two. That's kind of cool. Go ring around the rosy, guys. <laughs> Fill your boots. Uh, oh, I think I should drop down off the ladder, move over, drop down the rungs, and get the ones on the, the one on the left hand side of the pyramid. Because the right hand, well, I think, will do me because they'll all move over there. Maybe they might move over. T you should do the right hand side first. You think so? Because there's gold on the right hand side down the pyramid too yeah I'm just worried that they're gonna all do free falls onto me possibly right although I will have time to move and get back up that one wrong oh easily yeah, you're right lots of time okay so and let's if they're all on the right hand side that's even better for you because they'll all be stuck there yeah now they're done it's fine they're that's totally there. fine yeah that takes the heat off for a while yeah they even dropped a gold for you up there Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's go get that. Yep, might as well. And then I may as well wait for them to get all stuck in one spot there. Spin Doctor's oh. called What Time Is It? Wasn't wasn't there everybody did something called What Time Is It back then? Uh, I think so. <laughs> it, was, it was an obsession with time. 
in yeah. the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Everybody asking, what time is it? Yeah. <laughs> What's time? But only Flavor Flav knew what time it was. Yeah. Because he was the one keeping time. That big clock. Yeah, but actually, he still couldn't tell time because he had to say to Chuck, <laughs> Chuck, tell him what time it is. That's right, because yeah. it was it was on him. He couldn't see it. He had to <laughs> ask Chuck to ask see what time it was on his clock. Yo, it's jiggle o'clock, Chuck. <laughs> um, okay, so I have two schools of thought on the subject here. Uh, I wouldn't go to the left. What's that? I wouldn't go to the left. Well, There's four people and nowhere to trap them. But, but oh yeah, because I can't walk through those bricks. Jeez, what's wrong with me? <laughs> okay. So I won't go to the left, but yeah. how long? I'm just going to lure him down right now. Uh, yep, yeah, sure. On the safe side of things. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, what's up? We're in descent. There we go. Thank you for picking up the gold from that hard to reach spot. <laughs> so again, they're True. they're totally out of my hair now. Oh, yeah. They they have no way to get you. So I just got to figure out the one on the right there. Yeah, so if you do one, two, three, four... Um, oh, actually, you don't need to do two. I can go reverse, can't I? I can dig there and dig there. Cause, uh, just just do the do the do the th do the four from the right. Yeah. Two, three, four. four, and then and do the three. You have to keep doing it because they're gonna fill All up. Right. There you go. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, you can't do that. This is what we did last time. Yeah. Um. Oh, God damn it. Okay. One, two, three, four. Risky. Sometimes we need risk. as well clear it out because <laughs> really you only need to oh awesome perfect. you only need to get rid of that one because then you can get there and just dig one belief so one two three yeah and then and then just oh oh uh, no then okay. you do left right left to right yeah you can uh, you're gonna die because it's gonna fail but he died then first do, <laughs> uh, left to right Oh, you want me to do it? Oh, well, you held your hand up. Oh, so okay. Like, just uh, like you held it. Oh, you're <laughs> just like, not, I threw, I'm not sure what I was going to reference there. <laughs> oh, well. Something. Yeah. Ow. Damn sticky coasters. Yeah. Condensation. <laughs> condensation. <laughs> I don't feel the condensation sensation you are talking about. <laughs> There we go. Now we don't have him to bother us. Yes. So we can do that, that, that. Then like. Um, you need to staircase down to it, I think. Yeah, like that. But still no good. Ooh. Oh. Almost died. So that's not. That's not quite right. Can't he learn to dig down? Dig down. Still digging up. Hmm. Oh, okay, that doesn't help. <laughs> it's just another way I can dig, but... Okay, so... You, I feel like you have to dig from the left this time, but you still can't get out, is the problem. Or do you have to wait till they start filling in and then take out another one? Do you know what I mean? Uh... Hmm. Like, now... If I go there, I'm, I'm dead. That's but, the problem. Yeah. Because if I... I can't dig out anymore. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. This is tricky, tricky, tricky. Very tricky. This is always the same, that. Yeah. Ah, no. Oh. Um. Yeah, it is tricky. Tell you what, these dudes have been the last of Donkey Kong. and just keep going up and down the ladders until the barrels oh, took them out. Yeah, they, they're done. Done and done. Done, done like Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Isn't it on like Donkey Kong? It is, but yeah. yeah. I, I, I. <gasps> That's okay. Okay. 
stuff. There's not much progress made. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, is what is easily accessible is where we have the stalemate is after that. Yeah. <sighs> Ooh. That's, it's, it's still no good because if I fall in where the gold is, I can't dig down. Yeah. I need the one beside it. Either one beside it. Done. Okay, okay so question then. Yeah. You're... And it does you no good to stand on the plank to the left of the brick above you, the singular, and knock that out because you'll just fall straight through. But... Hmm. Do you have to be in a position as they come back to just take them back out again? Uh, so well, you dig your four across. I oh, know, yeah. but you can't. You can't go around. Never mind. No. I was thinking you could drop back down, but there's just no way to do it. It's no good. It's no good. It's no good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fine. I can figure this shit out. Oh, I did it. But you did too. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I did it. You just need to make sure that the one that's above your head is gone for when you... Oh, I see. Yeah. I don't know how I did it. You, you just chased it. Basically, as things were filling in, you were knocking out the next one. Eh, or you let it chase eh, you. It Either way, it's it done. Doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, like, when they come in, it doesn't matter. I don't think. Uh, okay. Now it's now it's much harder. Yeah. So I have to do it again. The one on the left works. But oh god! You, what are you doing? Get out of here! Go down on the other side. Um, you can. Do you think you can give them the runaround? Like if you lure them over? Yeah, like you're gonna have to lure them across the top. It's the only yeah. way. You're gonna have to wait, yeah. and maybe knock that center one out to buy yourself a bit of time. The one you're standing on. True. Ooh, how do I get them up? They, they have ladders. They can climb. Ooh, what I could do. That works. Only one, though. It's only one. But that's okay. Now they're all following their leader. Oh, they're not. No, no they're not. They're just... Oh, oh, there's two. Okay. I'm happy. I'll oh, take, yeah, I'll and you'll they'll stall out. Oh, okay, yeah. Now you're dealing with a manageable yes. number. Now there's only two of them. And one of them's up there, so... That that's... one dude is raising you down. But you've got three levels to evade them on. There's two of them and three levels. Ah. What happened there? It came too quick. Oh. Uh, let's go up here. Yeah. Ah. Need more time. Oh, you, they're, now they're more spread out, which is not good. Yeah. Oh, they decided to get closer there to each go. other. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, get that goal. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Abandoned ship. Oh, 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 lucky. perfect. Lucky. Oh, God, no. No. I just fall again. Yeah. Climb, drop. Yeah, because he's got to get down the same. Perfect. There we go. Oh, no time to grab the gold, though. <laughs> no. That's okay. It's in an accessible spot for later. I just want to get up here. Although he picked it up again. <gasps> now I can, like, kill these guys, maybe, and get them on that side. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'll keep doing. That's what I'll keep doing. And you'll get both pieces of gold. Or you got, you got the one piece of gold. Yeah, you got you got them both. Oh, one's dead. Hopefully, yep, perfect. He's on that side now, and he'll stay on that side. You stay on that side. He's gonna. Oh, nice. And as long as oh, I just have to keep killing him till he appears on that side. That's one another strategy in this game is to like keep killing the guys until, until they, they go where you want them to. Yeah. Yeah, he's gone on this one. There's no way yeah. to log time it. Oh, oh, that's okay. Dead. Definitely dead on this one. There you go. Now go over the... He oh, did. my God. Nope. Oh. oh, just in time. Oh there God. you go. Okay, I better leave some room for myself this time when he dies. Yeah. Actually, even... Go down, maybe. Oh, that... Oh, there. so lucky. Yeah. Okay, let's clear this mess up now. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, there you go. Oh no, they're coming over here. It's okay, you're fine. Because by the time they get to you, they've only got one way to get to you now. 
and those guys are are lost over on the left. Oh god, why did I do that? Oh. Yeah, you still gotta be able to get out. <gasps> there you go. One, two. But that still doesn't help. No. It's okay. Yeah. Mulligan. <laughs> get these guys trapped. Go up the top. Perhaps die. Push them over to the other side now. That's the name of one of the songs on my album. This guy, this one should be easier. No, it's about the same because it's the same depth. Yeah, there you go. Oh, still insists. Thrusts his fists against the posts and still insists he sees the ghosts. <laughs> what is that from? It. Ah. Uh, it's the, the stuttering lesson that Bill Dendro uh, takes to make the speaking better. To give him courage to not be unsure of himself or however that works. Oh. And I kind of see how it works now, too. If you knock out those three... Yeah? Yeah, and then drop... Oh. I have to wait till I get rid of this guy. He's going to be too much trouble. There you go. Come on, dude. Appear on the right there hand side. There you go. Thank you. Up, 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 up. No, you go over there. Over there. Move to the right a bit. Mm. Oh, and now they're all coming for you. There we go. Oh. Fools, all of them. Okay. <clears throat> no, that doesn't work. I think <laughs> you have to do it from the. I think maybe only go instead of going three. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yep. That's what I did last time. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. And Puppy success. power! <laughs> oh, Is that from Scooby Doo? That's scrappy Doo. Yeah. That's scrappy. The, the least, my least favorite Doo. <laughs> oh. I prefer Scooby Dumb to Scrappy Doo. <laughs> yes. I think I'm in agreement with that. I completely forgot about Scrappy Dumb or Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Sco Scooby Dumb or whatever. Yeah. Oh my god. Yay! Yeah. We did it! It's hilarious. Try, they try to walk on a platform that's entirely gone. Yeah. yeah they're not, not super smart. They're just programmed. They have programming. They follow their programming. That's right. They got obey. They got obey. So there we go. <sighs> uh, we made it. Thanks for having me. Level 38. <laughs> well, thank you for uh, being here uh, on the show. It was great to have you on again. Yeah, it was great. Uh, <laughs> You might remember me from from, from such fuck ups as a uh, bad editing on the Zero Page Homebrew Awards show <laughs> a few years ago. <laughs> True. That's yeah. hilarious. <clears throat> to be fair, I was shown the software five minutes before. No <laughs> excuses. That's true. Yeah. So. They had an outdated map of the room. Yeah, they have blindfolds on and they could just hear you, so they're they're just going for you. It's like that. It's like that TikTok thing with the rubber chickens and the. <laughs> uh, which one the, the, the one where where there's like one friend in, in the middle of a room he's got a blindfold on he's got a leather belt and then there's three or four other guys in the room who have um rubber chickens strapped to their shoes and kazoos taped to their face oh my god so even if they manage to not make set off the rubber chicken <laughs> They're breathing. Yeah, but, 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 but kazoos but, aren't a problem because you have to hum for kazoos. Yeah, but do you know what makes you do the the, the, the kazoo when he hits you? Because you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I I, I, I was mesmerized. I was mesmerized, and I'm like, this is the most like lowest common denominator bass thing I've ever seen. But because of the sound effects, it is addictive. Just, just elevates it. Yeah, yeah. I watched like a 30 second clip, like five times and oh. i knew i was watching it five oh my times God. <laughs> i was just like here's the part where he hits him really hard and he almost cries oh that's hilarious <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly well thanks for hanging out with us everyone uh gamma dev rc70e uh dan avc uh, uh s ramirez the master 
Thrust, John Champo, uh, Ricardo Pym. I just Nathan Strong. Yeah. I just want to say that that um out of all the Decepticon jets to come out in the first generation of Transformers, Thrust was my absolute favorite. Ooh. He had the coolest look, and he had the the, the wraparound guns on the on the wings, and his color was amazing. So, what did he transform into? Uh, f- from, from Jet to ro- Robot, and oh, his, Jet to Robot. Okay. His in the cartoon, they differentiated them between like their original jets, like they were the same transforming scheme, mm. but um, but they didn't flip their their nose cones back uh yeah they that's usually them. the the reveal is the nose cone to head yeah right and in this case it's the head with with the nose cone on top but otherwise identical transforming mm-hmm. but, yeah. uh thrust is from uh he likes thrust based games uh, oh like yeah. space like uh like i was asteroids. gonna say like leisure suit larry yes <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> like ones that have gravity and you have to like fire your engines and, and like momentum and stuff oh oh yeah like space duel yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm generally terrible at those games. Like I uh, said, I can't I have... do it with asteroids, but I can do it with space tool. <laughs> I've gotten better though. I've gotten better. <laughs> Gravatar, yes. Gravatar. Uh, Prow Seven. Uh, Dios Kilos. Uh, who else? Who else was in here? That's it. That's all the names. Um, I can't tell you when we're gonna be back because we're on summer break. I can guarantee you'll be back on July 18th. Uh, with uh, with our regular schedule, scheduled programming. Nice. But we're definitely going to be doing some After Darks in the meantime and in between time. Pop up video. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know what we're playing next. Uh, Load Runner is a good uh, fill in the blank kind of game because we have uh, many levels to do. Um, but we also want to play Gravitic Mines. There's um, kind of a patch for that, but it's a pilot ID card we need to get. Uh, but we just need to just get through those levels. Uh, I am pretty sure I can get the second patch in Gorf Arcade, not too bad, because I did play at the second level, and I made it to, like, level 20 already. Oh, nice. On my first tr- tr- try, um, when you're out of the room. Um, so I only need to do five more levels. I think I'm at the level 19, which is pretty close. Uh, Conehead Prime, we're from France. What? Oh, Conehead, Conehead, uh... Oh, Prime. Decepticon. <laughs> Nowadays, that would be worse than actual aliens for conservations. The France is all them so... What? Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, Gravitic Mines. Um, obviously, I want to play Gorf again, so we'll be scheduling that, and is, Load Runner. Is, uh, is Elevator Agent Elevator Action? Yes, it is. That's and so it's cool. A very good version of it. Sounds also made awesome. by Champ Games. Not surprising. Yeah, it, it looks yeah. absolutely astounding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's what's going on right now. Uh, thanks for hanging out uh, uh, again on a what day is it? Thursday. Yeah. Not a normal day for us. We usually do Tuesdays and Fridays. You know what though? Mm-hmm. Uh, any sort of uh, retro gaming on a Thursday is great because it's Throwback Thursday. Hmm. And definitely a throwback with Gorf and Load Runner. With in, yeah, yeah. I mean, unless unless you're playing like the new homebrews, like that are brand new games, yes, right? Those are new, you're still new throwing games. back uh, one way or another. Yeah, yeah. Throwback to the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Yes, least. exactly. A Thursday, I have to work tomorrow. See, they're disappointed because they think it's a Friday because we're <laughs> normally on Friday. Well, where is RC Seventy from? If 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 he's if if, if, oh. if he's in Europe, he's a day late already. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it, it's uh, seven hours ahead, so it'll be midnight. So oh. we still have his Friday. Okay. Now, if you're talking about Australia, Buffalo. Australia, if you're talking about Australia, it is already Friday in Australia. Um, They'd just be waking up right around now, I think. Random sports references, but for, for Buffalo, go Bills, go Sabres. <laughs> so... <laughs> Those are your, your teams? Oh, they're, t- they're teams they I like. backup teams? What's like that? If, if your favorite teams fail you'll be like oh. yeah I, I generally have what i call my top five okay <laughs> and and there's che- teams i will never ever cheer for like, <laughs> like no matter what the whole well, team that tell- i cheer for yeah. could be traded at once <laughs> to the team the bad team and i still would not cheer for them oh my goodness it's tainted yes it's, it's like it's it's 
the name of the team. It's the city they in, in, in count, in, in compass. Or, or yeah, or the it's or the, the people that or, live in the or, city. Or, yeah, or, or the legacy. Or the, the, the legacy. Yeah, you the, have to pay for the sins of your forefathers that came before you that wronged me. Is is that not how society tends to go you know, outside of sport? No, yes. No, no. So it translates <laughs> yeah. perfectly into sports. Yeah. Australia is the future. Ask them for lottery numbers. Anytime Andrew Davy comes on here, I, I beg him for the lottery numbers, but he never gives them to me. It's just terrible. And I could be millionaire, multi-millionaire now if the Australians just cooperated with this time dilation it thing. Seems, <laughs> it seems selfish. It, it really yeah. does. I like, mean... I mean, they don't take advantage of it either. Weren't the Australians originally a bunch of prisoners anyway? Yeah. So it depends, it, I'm just kidding. It depends if they had, had <laughs> been there for a long time or they just moved there. So they're either descendants of prisoners or... You know. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> What we gotta do, Marty, is go to Australia. <laughs> That's right. I bet on all the sports teams. One point one gigawatts of power is nothing today. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm almost over this uh, sickness. Uh, you can't tell, but I was not doing well uh, a couple of days ago. Now Tanya's got it, so yay! It <laughs> continues its lineage, uh, and it can move on to the next person. Uh, you got to keep these viruses going. It's, it's very cruel uh, to yeah. kill them and, and uh, end their lives. Yeah, Atari is very out of it. They are melted cats. <laughs> melted cats. Oh, it's 28 in here. That is very hot for this room. You know what, though? We've acclimated quite nicely under the circumstances. Well, we're, we're moving as little yeah. as possible, <laughs> as you do. And Actually, sickly. this does feel a bit like when I went to Cancun and then you walk outside oh. and it's just like... Like a hundred billion Oppre percent humidity. Oppressive. Yeah. <laughs> Even at like mid twenties, you're like, it's too hot. <laughs> the, the 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 air is pure water. You just move your hand through it, and it just drips down. <laughs> I'll bet you any carnivorous animals in in those areas of Mexico and everything are actually not that fast, but they can catch you because you're so <laughs> weighed down. It, it all equals out. Yeah, right? they're slow. You're slow. You have to stop to get, you know, uh, uh, a drink from from the the wet bar. Um, <laughs> it's like watching like the OJ cartoons. chase at half speed. That's right. <laughs> okay, we're done. Okay, uh, <laughs> we've uh, digressed much. Thirty two C is around ninety F. I think it's thirty seven. That's a hundred. Is that what it is? It translates. Uh, uh, strangely enough, I believe our body temperature is thirty eight point five. So that would put it okay. at uh, 98, roughly. Okay, yeah, yeah. That so. makes sense. Where where are you at today? Uh, well, it's 28 in here. There's nothing to cool us down. Yeah. A little bit to warm us up. So I'm guessing that's around the right temperature for outside, which is nice with a breeze. Yeah, I, I, I can... No breeze in yeah. here. I hope you're, you were getting some of that fan. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, I yeah. wasn't. Totally Don't worry, I would have been like <laughs> 82 ish. I do not know Fahrenheit whatsoever. Canadians no. do not know Fahrenheit. My favorite's when they call when no. they call Celsius centigrade and everybody like waits for a second. It's like, what? <laughs> oh, what's the what's the other one? Kelvin? Kelvin. I know nothing about Kelvin. Uh I know that uh zero is absolute zero. I mean no In movement. Kelvin. Yeah. No movement whatsoever in yeah. space. Oh, our, uh, particles have stopped. I've, I, I've, I've got a quick joke on that. Oh. Proton walks into a bar, orders a beer. Bartender gives it to him. He goes to pay. It's like, no charge. Uh, uh, well, that's a good ending. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you. Uh, ha! <laughs> ha! Willie! Ha! So we'll see you uh, next After Dark. That'll be definitely the next one. Um, just make sure you follow us. I know everybody in the chat already follows us. These are very regulars. Um, and just watch for us popping up on your phone and tune in. So uh, bye, everyone. Have a wonderful next couple days. Bye-bye.